Good evening, everyone. I uh, hope you're all well. Hope you've all had a great week. Apologies for the uh, slightly late start. I was trying to get the game up and running in multiplayer um, so I could get Stevie on. Apologies, Stevie, I couldn't get it work. I was having so many issues um, with the game glitching out. So, not sure if it was because my internet, but although I wasn't actually streaming at the time, so or you know, whether it's just multiplayer has got a few issues at the moment. So yeah, apologies for that. Um, I'll try and get that sorted for next week. Hey Sandra Hendricks, thank you for the subs uh, subscription. Sorry. Hope everyone can hear me well. <laughs> just check that first before I uh, get too far away. Um, yeah, so the plan was to have Stevie on to help me, uh, one of my channel members, to do a few contracts and get some stuff. Um, so I set this up earlier on the multiplayer server and I finished all the player enough and Yeah, but I did it all on the multiplayer server, so none of it's been done Which is rather annoying because I spent a couple of hours plowing this field and then removing the rocks And now I have to come back on and yeah, none of it's done Canadian gamer welcome to the farm hand level channel membership Thank you very much and apologies, I can't read that name, but thank you for the subscription. I do appreciate that as well. So Johnny saying good evening, good evening. Yeah, so let me know in the chat if everything's um, going okay with the uh, audio and everything. It would be Great. Speedy Farm saying, hey Sim, how have you been? I've had a busy week. Um, my wife was away for most of this week, looking after my uh, father-in-law and mother-in-law's dog while they was on holiday because they didn't want to put him in kennels because he's quite an old dog. So I've been on my own. So it's been quite a hectic week with my f three dogs and uh, Trying to get the Christmas decorations out the loft and all that. <laughs> Trying to get ready for Christmas. So yeah, it's been quite a uh, hectic week. And what I am going to do is turn off stones because I really don't like them too much. Field stones, field stones. Where are you? Right, turn those off. Yeah, plowing. I've, ju I've just loaded into this save game and then I've realised that I did all this on the multiplayer and I was like, oh no, all is good, maybe a bit more game volume, okay, right, let me just adjust the game volume slightly, um, right, let's try that. Everything sounds good, thank you, Tom. Hey, Robson, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Stones are a pain in the rear end. Yeah, I've, I didn't even realize there were stones in this field. So I've, I've literally spent probably two, two hours or so this afternoon finishing plowing these two fields and then I went over with a stone picker to pick all the stones out of these, this field. Oh. I may, I may just bite the bullet and put a worker on to do it because I'll, I'll finish this field off and then we'll uh, we'll move on to one of the other ones. Uh, so how is everyone? Hope you've all had a good week. How many of you are uh, ready for Christmas? Well, we've still got lots to do. Leaving it to the last minute. Hey Sebastian, welcome along. So yeah, in the in the future, I'll I should have enough a uh, little bit more time this week to try and get the multiplayer server working. It was working fine earlier when I was on my own. Um, yeah, I don't know why when I was just trying it with Stevie, it was glitching out. I was connect connecting to equipment, but it wasn't following me. So it was just trailing like the PTO halfway across the map. And the uh, the call stack in the if I bring up the thing that was just literally bred with errors. Error after error after error, so yeah, not sure what was going on. Whether it was um, some of the mods I've got 
enabled, weren't playing nicely or what. But I'll try and get it sorted for next time. Uh, Philip, regard from Poland. Hello, welcome. Dark God Viper, sup Sim. Hello, what's up with you? Hey Sim, nice to see you li live. Sorry, live. Uh, typical British language have two meanings for the same spelling of a word. <laughs> Good to see you live. Love your time lapses too. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Not ready for Christmas. I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, it's not not as, Christmas is not as fun when you're older. Big Rich, hey Sim, how are you? Canadian gamer, I dislike field stone in the game right now. Any new field you purchase has them. And after dumping these little piles around big field, you find out nothing can move them but the collectors. I've picked them up and loaded them into a trailer with a, the bucket. It doesn't show that they're a fill type for the bucket and trailer, but you can pick them up with it. Not sure why they don't show as a fill type. Marius, hello from Romania. Keep up the good work, my friend. Thank you very much. So how many people? Got 140 viewers, so thank you very much for everyone who's stopped by to watch the stream so far. Merry Christmas, Sim from Danish Pet Friend. Yeah, Merry Christmas. So is that right you currently 22 and hasn't liked Christmas since 16? No, I still enjoy it, um, time to get together with the friends and family, although that's obviously been difficult the last well, last Christmas especially and the way things are going it looks like this Christmas is uh, going to be the same for uh, at least us in the UK to some degree. Marcin, hello from Poland, hello to you. Any news on Elm Creek Farm build? I'm working on it. I'll try and get that done as soon as possible. I'm just trying to decide on how I want to do it. M182 Abrams Tusk. It's a nice name. Nice tank as well. I've built, built a couple of models of those. Hello from the United States. Although the version I built was one with the... Um, the SEP one Jens hi Sim I love your videos and have a nice Christmas thank you I will try my best to have a nice Christmas so I say Louis uh, I just want to say you really inspired me and oh yeah by the way we say hi from South Africa um, hello to you in South Africa So I'm not I'm not planning on doing plowing for too long. I just want to finish this one field. <laughs> I know plowing is uh, one of the most boring jobs you can do in farm sim. Danish pet friend, Mr. Sim. I know you playing multiplayer in FS2219 because you get a tractor when you're sitting in harvester. Yeah, I when I'm doing my videos, I use multiplayer, but I use it over a local area network connection, so I don't have the problems with lag and stuff like that um, so that's just literally me playing on two PCs I say I was hoping to get some channel members on the stream to help out yeah unfortunately that didn't go to plan Yen saying hello from Denmark Reggie shed what implement can I use for pig food I can't seem to find any fill type on any implements um, don't know I've not tried let's have a look it may be one of those things that pig food is just missing from the list of fill types because I'd have, I'd have presumed pig food would be um, standard fill type so if you could take foraged seeds and that you should take pig food 
So I don't know if stones and pig food are missing. I've just not added them to these. So I know that that one definitely takes stones because I use that one on Paul Baylor on to load up stones to take to the stone crusher. Uh, but it doesn't show it. So I presume that would take pig food as well. Uh, maybe that's something they'll fix in the update and they're just missing from the fill types. Valerio, hello from Italy. Hello. Frederick, that's replying to Stevie. Let's lift that up. Um, are you waiting for a wood map for your next time lapse series? Yes. Um, for those that haven't seen that No Man's Land is coming to FS22, it's been confirmed by Alien Jim and was in testing this week. Unfortunately, it looked like it failed because it wasn't released. Um, so hopefully Alien Jim's got the issues fixed and resubmitted but with the list of I think at the moment there's about eight working days waiting time for mods to get tested so if it's been resubmitted at the end of that list it's probably going to be next week um, the week after this one coming before it gets back into testing but hopefully we may see No Man's Land before Christmas uh, but yeah, I do plan on doing a forestry type start from scratch with nothing and build up the farm um, when there's a map out. Um, I say hopefully it'll be no man's land, but we'll see how that goes. So, Chaotic, hello from Texas, hello. How's things over the other side of the pond? Hi, I love your videos and I have a question. Where are you from and how old are you? I am from Poland. Uh, apologies, I don't know how you uh, say your name, but I am from the United Kingdom. Oh, yeah, this this plowed really doesn't like sharp turns. And I am almost 40 in a couple of years' time. Hey, why have you automatic trains on? Automatic trains on ATAR. I have manual on my save game. Um, I have no idea. This I bought this used in the first stream um, this is just how it come and I've got automatic gear switched on in the menu I don't know if that changes anything MV farm no man's land would be a great gift for Christmas yeah it would be nice I would say I was being very optimistic and very hopeful when I saw it in the testing list that it was uh, gonna get released although I was kind of anticipating that uh, it would fail first time as most maps do. Will you buy a steering wheel? I do own a steering wheel, but I'm just not using it at the moment. I have got the Logitech G920, um, which I've had to disconnect because I couldn't get it to work properly with FS22 and my Xbox controller connected at the same time. Farming player, hello from Belgium, hello to you. And see money saying hello. Hi Sim. Hi. Yeah, this plow is a awkward old thing to use. So how, how many other people are currently playing FS22 while watching the stream? And uh, what map you playing on? Danish pet friend, Mr. Sim, you my best and nicely YouTuber I know. <laughs> Appreciate that, thank you. Hey, uh, Funta, good evening. How are you? Uh, Funta's saying he loves the live streams. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying doing them. I'll say I'm really just uh, annoyed. It took me so long to uh, force myself into getting them started. Andrew K, hello, Sim Farmer from Ohio. I really love your time lapses. Always look forward to watching them when they come out. <laughs> Appreciate that, thank you. So Earth Hunter is playing on Elm Creek doing cereal crops, nice. If you don't mind me asking, what refresh rate and resolution do you play at? Um, resolution I'm playing on 4K. Uh, the refresh rate, well, I'm just playing with the 60 FPS. Um, 
so it's locked at 60 for the game so I don't bother unlocking it I can unlock it and get higher frame rates but I think farming simulator 60 is more than enough Sebastian's currently playing the French map a uh, lovely map yeah I'm enjoying it now I'm starting to make some decent progress on it I was getting a little bit frustrated with both maps to, to be honest um, I've probably been a little bit too hard on myself I keep forgetting that we're only like 10 episodes in uh, plus playing on a new game as well which I'm still figuring out for myself so I was kind of beating myself up a little bit thinking I had made made enough progress but I think I'm just about starting to get there now uh, things are starting to pick up Danish pet friend is playing FS22 without mods and with and without mods but I want to become like a good farmer John is saying uh, yeah, there's something in uh, a language I can't understand <laughs> Mr Farquhar my first sim farmer stream thank you very much for stopping by good to see and hear you live always follow the time lapse series thank you very much Dalmason saying hello from Sweden. I'm currently playing on Elm Creek. My worker is fertilizing my oats while I'm popping corn and grabbing another beer. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be soon putting the worker on the plow on, on the other field in a minute. Although it's going to cost me a fair bit. I have to go and collect a few more cheeses, cheese wedges. Jens, I don't play FS22, but I will get the game soon and hope I'll get it for Christmas. I uh, hope you do, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Stevie 4K Gaming, I'm frustrated with Hooper Felm Creek and Ho Baylor on to so just playing early crap now. <laughs> yeah, the re refresh contract mods has uh, definitely helped. I was spending so much time quitting out the game, reloading it to try and refresh the contracts, it was getting a bit frustrating. So that's definitely uh, made a few things a little bit better. Boss 2, I'm still at FS19, maybe get FS22. And Hanez, I can't remember if it was Hanez or Hans, Haynes, apologies, for saying hey yeah. Hey Paul is 72, love the vid sim farmer. Just getting into Farm Sim 22, but having trouble getting into multiplayer on crossplay. I'm on PC, keep getting kicked from a friend's server that plays on PS5. Yeah, I'd, I've not tried crossplay myself, and until this evening or today, it was the first time I've actually attempted a multiplayer game with somebody that's not connected to my local area network. Um, so I don't know if there are a few issues with multiplayer need fixing in the update or whether it's just something I'm having a problem with um, but as for crossplay I'm not sure is it on crossplayer is he hosting the game or is it on a dedicated server I am 38 so nearly 40 in a couple of years time it was the first so Hanez I think was the first pronunciation <laughs> Thomas G, hello from France, nice to see your second stream. Well, it's technically my third one, but obviously you didn't see the first one. But welcome along. So 152 watching. Just missed a little bit. Hoof. I'm not really enjoying FS22, doesn't run smoothly on Xbox One. Yeah, I really... I'm not surprised they released FS22 on... Xbox One and PS4, um, but I do think it does hold the game back a little bit, and I, I think it probably will be the last version of Farm Simulator on those generation of consoles. I can't see them doing another one, um, but I will have, 
probably think with the limited amount of people that have actually got a PS4 and PS5, I couldn't see them not doing a version for the older generations of consoles. But yeah, I think they do need to do a bit of work to optimise it for the older consoles a little bit. From what I've heard, it doesn't seem to run all that great on them. Johnny, um, Frost member. <laughs> um, Air since you can build a really nice vineyard with greenery around it. Yeah, I plan on doing the grapes on Hobe later on, but they seem very expensive to plant. So I want to build up a uh, decent source of income from other things first and then we can get going with the grapes so um, my plan for the European map is to look at getting into the oil so getting one of the oil plant and then doing the sunflowers to produce sunflower oil and also then do canola and then probably do olives first because I love the oil plant so we can do olive oil and then when that's all up and running I'll be doing the uh, the grapes on that map and I think for the the US map I'm gonna probably concentrate on going into cotton and then getting the spinnery and doing um, clothing at a tailor shop so I'm trying to do different things on each of the the maps so uh, I just spotted a comment Steve H Hasing Farmer hey to you boss to how much lands are we gonna see how much lands? I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, Morgan saying face reveal. There will be a face reveal video when I get my YouTube silver play button. Um, not sure when that will be. MV Farmer. Hey, MV. If you're uh, on your new channel. Um, Vineyard is very expensive like on Italy right now. Yeah. Yeah, I had a play around to see how much they were, and I think it, to do a decent amount, it was going to probably cost close to uh, about 70,000, 80,000. <laughs> and then you've got to buy the equipment or lease the equipment. Air Funter sounds good, looking forward to it. Nice one. Helen, hey Sim, hi. Hey, hello to you. lands countries yeah still not 100% sure what you mean by that um, in the time-lapse series do you mean boss 2 well let's just check we finish this end off and then we'll get that old friend and I'll get a worker yeah so tiny little bit there and then just down that end row and then we'll get the worker switched on to the next build yeah, MV Farmers using these new uh, his new account today. <laughs> have you got your first video up yet, or are you still working on it? Um, I haven't had time to look into the uh, if you can transfer over the channel membership to your new one yet. Uh, but we'll try and have a look at that tomorrow. Uh, Pancake Twenty One, did you know we have a German farmer here in Germany who doesn't play, even if he has cornfields? Yeah, I, I know a lot of a lot of farms in the UK are starting to um, go to no-till, so they're not plowing, uh, not doing much cultivation, other than a very light cultivation to um, break up the uh, stubble before drilling it with the next crop. And um, from my understanding is. I'll, Part of the problem is for plowing is it disturbs the earth so much is it reduces the population of earthworms which obviously have massively helped improve the soil. So not plowing can uh, drastically increase the population of earthworms which are, are a huge benefit to the soil, far more than uh, plowing anyway. 
So yeah, a lot of UK farms are now moving to the no-till. Which I think in a, probably a few years time, I think most farms probably will. MV Farmers, yes, now we're editing the third episode, so I can't play. I always find editing is a bit boring. So have you got your first two videos are up? Are they ready to watch? I haven't had a chance to um, have a look yet. Steve H, codes for special edition items, Mac Trucks Black Anthem. Yeah, I'm... Um, I'm not sure on those codes. I mean, I know they work, but I'm not sure if Giants intended those codes to work because they're paid content for people that didn't get the pre-order bonus. Um, so I won't be mentioning them on live or mention them that they're there um, as I don't want to promote them because I don't know if they're meant to be shared out. Because <laughs> I know you can buy access to those items if you didn't pre-order the uh, get the pre-order editions um, I I bought the little Revel Porsche or Porsche Junior uh, model kit so I got my code from that to unlock it uh, which is kind of combining two of my hobbies because I like building scale models and I love farm sim so Seems like you can have a yield improve if you plowed your field every time. Um, I don't know about that. I know it, if you plow after corn, potatoes and sugar beet, you don't get a negative impact on the next crop. But yeah, maybe something in the future I'll probably switch off or just go to no-till so we never do it. Um, Andrew K, the next environmental movement, save the earthworms. Yeah, as a, uh, a big thing at the moment. Danish pet friend, see you guys in the stream, good night. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, Steve H, that's fair. I found them online randomly. Yeah, I've seen a few people mention them. Um, but I say, if they work for you then yeah go ahead but I, I'm not going to advertise them live on the stream because um, I say I don't know if that's an intended thing from Giants or whether they've made a mistake with those or what so we'll go and get the worker set up on the, uh, the next field and then we'll go and do another job so for those that weren't here at the start I did do all this plowing. I did mention at the end, towards the end of the stream last week, that I would uh, get all this done for this week. So it was done. I did spend a couple of hours doing it earlier, and then well, I did it on the multiplayer server because uh, I couldn't get that to work properly. I've had to come back on to save game on the normal save game, which I didn't do the work on. Nothing runs like deer. Potatoes have positive impact on the next crop. I don't think that works as it did with seasons in 19 though. With the um, crop rotation and... Well, not that I'm aware of in this game unless it does. And I'm not sure of it. I don't know if crop rotation is a thing in the base game is it? Does anybody know? I've not seen anything about it. Right, so set the worker off to do that. Uh, see if those contracts I was planning on doing are available. Uh, so I was going to do the two bailing contracts with Stevie. I might just accept these. We'll borrow the items for that one. Uh, we'll accept that one. And there was a harvesting one. Let's accept that. We'll do the harvesting one first. New Holland. Cameron, do you play any games outside of farm sim? Uh, when I can, 
Uh, but I don't do any on like video. Farm Sim's the only content I've ever done. Uh, but I do play Forza Horizon 5. Uh, I've been playing Far Cry 6 a little bit. So I do try and play a few other games when I get time. I was thinking about downloading Halo Infinite uh, giving that a go. But I've never never been one for Halo. I always struggle to get into it. Uh, but I thought as it's on Xbox Game Pass I'll download that and give it a go probably over Christmas to see what it's like. Steve's saying I don't think crop rotation is a thing in the base game. Yeah, I don't think it it was, but I say I haven't looked into all the ins and outs of the game. I didn't think it was, so I, I always tend to do a different crop in the field anyway, even in the base game, I always try and do something different. Stevie H also guiding Steven is out. Yes, I have installed GPS, so I should have it enabled. I don't have it on this combine because it wasn't available when I purchased it. Stevie works and Sim takes the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free labour. That, that was the idea of it. I say if I can get it working I can get a few more channel members on when we've got more things to do. We can see how much the money's going down now with that worker. It's like one euro per second. Um, seems for Sam does stuff. Our, tip, our farm typically only plows around once every three years ish, mainly because we only do corn and silage. Yeah, I don't think in the UK those farms that do plow, I don't think it's something they do every year. Uh, apologies, whoever owns this field, but I'm just going to drive over your crop. Mr. Farquhar, never been big on Halo despite having Xbox. I've never, the first Xbox I had was the 360, and I think it was Halo 3 was the first one I ever tried to play, and I really just couldn't get into it. I just, I don't know why, just struggled to enjoy it, so I just stopped playing it. Steve's saying he doesn't mind free labour, I can use him for free labour enough time more, yeah. Yeah, so I'll try and get them all to play working in the uh, in the week. <laughs> um, Melissa, you have steering wheels. I, ha I do have a Logitech G920, but I'm not currently using it. I'm using my Xbox controller. Uh, apologies if I've missed any comments in the chat. If, I've, if you've asked a question and I have missed it, then please ask it again. So I'm still getting used to this, trying to drive and concentrate on the chat at the same time. Rasmus Christensen saying, hey, Sim. Hey, how to you? Yeah, so my plan for this evening, I was going to have a look at starting to build up the farmyard as well, but whether I'll get time to do that now, I haven't got my free labour. Mr Farquhar saying, as I've gotten older, I don't get as much enjoyment from those types of games, definitely more simulators these days. I still enjoy... First person shooters to a degree. So I, I was really enjoying Far Cry 6. Dalmson saying, any news on the update for FS22? No, the, they released an update the other day that I think they've suspended mods on consoles until the patch. Um, so if anybody didn't see that, 
apparently there won't be any new mods for console until the patch is released because there's an issue with um, something, I can't remember what it was, whether it was an issue with the mod hub on consoles or mods in general on console. So apparently they've suspended mods for consoles but they will still be testing and working on the mods so when that's back up and running all the mods will get enabled on the mod hub for console players. Um, so you'll probably get one day of the week when the patch goes live that you'll probably get 60-70 mods appear on the mod hub. Um, but as far as the patch in general all I know is that they're trying to get it out before Christmas. Other than that I haven't looked too much into it about what they're going to actually try and fix or exactly when it's going to be out. Um, hopefully it will be in the next week or so. Hero Merc saying hi, hello. And uh, Marius then again because I do like what you do there, it's tempting to start your save too. Um, which save is that one? Is that the Hobailer on um, save with the two farms on? Stevie H saying, beware of the JDH50F header trailer. I bought it the set today and the combine pipes clip through the header when the toes it. Is it just PlayStation 4 holding consoles back, you think? Or both Xbox One as well? MV Farms can't find a good setting for force feedback on my steam wheel. Um, I say, I tr tried to get my wheel set up with 22 and I just give up. I've run out of time and I was like, uh, I sorted out another time, but so I haven't been, been able to have a look at it yet. I see a few comments above to understand that. I can only see so far back with the comments. That's the problem. Oh, I, I, I can see it now. I was just watching your dairy farm time. That's like the fifth time. Absolutely mesmerised. How realistic would you say it is to start like that? Usually want to work my way up. Um, yeah, but... I did it on, I think, the Raven Ravenport time-lapse series. I started with the pre-built farm and I think on Midwest Horizon as well. But if I was to start on a farm like that, what I would usually do is set the loan to cover the cost of building the farm. So even though you've got a fairly big farm to start with, you've still got to pay for it over the course of your gameplay. Um, unfortunately, the way the mod, the loan works, you can only take out a maximum 500 loan. And I think in Midwest Horizon, I think my loan was like 7 million at one point. And then when I tried to pay it back, it put me like minus 3 million in debt. I mean, you could always stay, start with the farm, give yourself some like smaller starting equipment, but then like not utilize the full farm to start with. Um, so maybe not start with animals on the farm and then still work your way up from that. So there's a few ways you could still go around starting a f with a pre-built farm. Uh, it all depends on how you want to go about doing it. You kind of have to put your own your own kind of rules onto the game for yourself. Brady, yet what? Mr. Farquhar, Xbox has been fine with mods. I played PC and Xbox and had no issues either. Okay, so it's just PlayStation 4. Mr. Farquhar, Alien Jim will only release No Man Land on Mod Hub. Yeah, we will only release it on Mod Hub. There's a lot to do with converting maps as well as. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier in the stream, hopefully No Man's Land will come out before Christmas. Derek Smith, I saw your Elm Creek time lapse. You put a tractor in the workshop, went into the pit. 
Yeah, that's using the mobile workshop mod on the mod hub. Um, I think it's only on PC though. It's the mod that enables you to literally walk up to a vehicle anywhere and repair it. So I was just kind of simulating the vehicle being repaired and going on into the pit. As it looks better than just walking up to a tractor in the middle of the field and repairing it. Um, yeah, so there isn't a workshop trigger in there. Which I don't understand why Giants didn't add one. M1A2, how long have you been going at this point? In terms of the stream, um, or in terms of the, uh, the channel, the stream's been going for 43 minutes. It's a little bit late starting. Right, we'll get this full and then we'll go and grab the, uh, I'll say grab the John Deere with the grain trailer, but that's currently flowing. Uh, big Rooch saying mash the like button, yeah. If you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit that like button. Red Shed, only three mods I'm waiting for. Course play, follow me and auto drive. Yeah, I've. Follow me would be really handy. Um, course play. Course play, I like course play when it works. It's probably one of the best mods you can get when it works. But I found it so frustrating. <laughs> Trying to get it work when I'm doing the videos, I'll stop using it. Derek Smith, great, I like that much more realistic. Yeah, I thought I'd just try and give it a bit more sense that it's been repaired properly in a workshop rather than just at the side of the field or something. Oops. Like me not paying attention. Even though I just said we're coming up to be in four. I stop that. Let's get the pipe out. Um, nothing runs like a deer. Are you going to do a No Man's Land 2.0? Exactly. I will be doing a No Man's Land and I'm going to borrow the, uh, the fence from the contract. I'm sure they, uh, the farmer won't mind. We'll use this to uh, do the grain cart because the John Deere is flowing. I'm going to do a series on No Man's Land as soon as it's released on Mod Hub. I'll be starting. Um, I'm not planning on trying to make it look anything like the one on 19. Oh, we need to go left here, don't we? Paulius Gaming has just subscribed. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I'll be starting off similar to how I did in 19 with No Man's Land. Not sure how it's going to work though, exactly starting, because I don't know if Alien Jim's going to put a wood cell point on the map as default. Because we don't have the, um, the placeable wood trigger I used in 19. So I may have to pre place a sawmill and then deduct that, like add that money to the starting loan. Because otherwise, starting with no money, no equipment. Um, it's pretty much impossible to get going because there's nothing you can do and because you can't cut grass to collect it up because you've got no mower or anything um, so yeah it's, it's either starting with some small equipment or starting with again a small vehicle and a chainsaw and having a pre-placed sawmill so it can start selling the wood uh, but yeah not 100% sure yet how to go about that but I do want to start off with no money, uh, one area of land, and then work from there. So Steve 4K, auto drove is already in game, kind of. Uh, the new AI system helper. Yeah, to a degree. I've never used auto drive, so I don't know uh, what the difference is. I think you could do auto drive to unload a combine could you set it up for that in the field it's one of those mods I kept meaning to download and give it a try and then I never did let's wait for this car oh, it's turning 
big rich if it smells like a John and looks green it's probably a deer <laughs> unless it's a fin <laughs> Bob is saying hello farming community hello to you thank you for stopping by Stevie H have you played with olives yet I find it difficult to get the mulching to hit both rows of trees yeah I think from what I've seen with the olives and the um, grapevines is you can't actually place them close enough together to get the mulcher to work how it should in terms of getting both sides at the same time. Um, so it kind of looks like you don't actually do it properly um, from what I've seen. So I've not actually tried that myself yet. Let's turn that off so we're not wasting fuel. I do like the fact that they've added the um, added it into the game that you can't operate hydraulics or unload combines without the engine running, like you could in 19. Boss 2, why does nobody play FS29? People from the future? I mean FS19? I think there's still a lot of people playing 19. Well, probably think a lot of YouTubers will have moved on to 22 now. Simply because the interest in 19 from viewers is probably very low. Steve is saying there's no real difference, auto drivers still need to drive to a road to join the road network. Ah, okay, I've, I've never tried it, it's one of those mods I kept meaning to download, to have a go, to see how it all works and just never got around to it. Big Rich, nobody plays FS19 no more, is correct. I'm sure there's still a few. But I think in terms of YouTubers, it's that kind of thing that you want to kind of get onto doing the latest thing. Uh, my views on FS19 for the last few episodes, as soon as the um, early access YouTubers started putting up videos, my last two videos literally tanked. I mean, I think the one video struggled to get 7,000 views, which is like half of what the previous ones were getting. It was almost like everyone's just like, uh, no, content on 22 is out, I'll, that's it, no more 19 for me. So yeah, I had a huge dip for um, the last few days of my 19 content. Uh, maybe for the next release I may get early access, who knows. We'll see. Um, Eric02, hello, found your channel today. I like your videos, keep up the work. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, Marius saying Stevie's has the same issue, then again, I'm not sure if she's supposed to mulch, cultivate both sides. So far, everyone I watch only went through the middle. Yeah, in terms of planting the olives and things do you have to plant them on onto a field an existing field or can you plant them anywhere because I only tried to see how much it would roughly cost on the field on Ho Baylor and I didn't try it off, off uh, an area that's not classed as a field so can you still plant them there and they still work or does it have to be a, a plowed like an actual created field Uh, why do I try to play both? Um, I just don't have the time to play both games. And I can't spend 3-4 hours creating videos for 19 if um, they're not going to get as many views. It's just not, not worth my time <laughs> at the end of the day. As YouTube is my source of income, it's I'd be doing myself out of... Um, some money 
So zero the Liga Loiga. Two dolly super chat, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm not sure how far the stream is delayed because I've not seen that come up yet. Oh, there we go. It just popped up for me. I appreciate that, thank you very much. Derek Smith, I might get FS22 when a modder comes out with a decent potato washing and sorting facility. Well, the global ones. Yeah, that was a good mod. Uh, my only bugbear with that was nobody came out with a bigger potato sorter. It's like, why, why did they not come out with a larger scale potato sorter? That was my only... I kind of grew up with that system was it was just so slow um, the potato washer wasn't too bad but yeah the potato sorter I could have done with maybe even a combined potato washer and sorter in one plant I think would have been nice but yeah I'm sure we'll, we'll get another production line like that for um, washed potatoes Stevie H, I planted mine on a field, so not sure, and I currently have to go up Peach Road twice to do my olives. Yeah, I might have a play around with that tomorrow. As I say, I only tried it on a field, and I only literally put them down to see how much it cost. So I kind of had an idea of how much I'd need. So I didn't actually try working them. Epic Domain, hey, hi to you. Judy XD, you from Britain, you sound like that. Yes, I am from the United Kingdom. Sam does stuff. My favourite one of your series was Grizzly Mountain. Yeah, that was one of my favourites. I really enjoyed that. Uh, ma mainly because it was the first time I'd ever done the kind of forestry. Starting off in O Farm, building up. Trio game saying howdy, howdy to you. <laughs> I just spotted that call I missed earlier, Dalmason saying nothing runs like a deer. Except um, nothing runs like a deer being hunted by a magnum. <laughs> uh, the, the old John Deere versus Case kind of thing. Whereas reminds me of being at school and having the uh, Sega Mega Drive versus the the snares. <laughs> Stevie 4K Gaming, 5 euro super chat, few quid from the free labour lot. <laughs> Hopefully we get more to play sorted out for next time. Yeah, I um, appreciate that Stevie, thank you, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm, I can only apologise I couldn't get it to uh, to work. I, like, I have no idea what the hell was going on. But yeah, I'll definitely try and get it sorted for next time. So I appreciate you taking the time anyway to uh, try and uh, help out. Derek Smith, if your olive rows are planted further apart then you could put a 3 metre cultivator or mulcher between the rows. Obviously take up more space but the pay, pay would be worth it. Yeah, the, you could do that. What I f think giants really need to add is uh, an option when you're planting grapevines and olives that you could select how many rows you want to plant so when you drag out you drag out mul multiple rows at the same time that keep them all parallel at the correct dis distance so if you want to do one row you could just put one row or you could select two three four five rows and then you just drag out like five rows at one go so they're all perfectly parallel to each other and they're all correctly spaced at the same distance I think that would be a massive improvement to that system if they added something like that because it is difficult to try and place them out level um, I have got a slight way of doing it using the co coordinates on the, um, the minima and then using the keyboard to move forward which helps keep it in a straight line Um, zero the Liga. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, 
thank you very much for the $10 super chat, that is awesome. <laughs> you are very generous, sir, um, or madam. Can't wait to see the modding potential that FS22 is going to have with the production chains. Also love watching your videos before I sleep, relaxing stuff. <laughs> thank you for that, I appreciate it. Cameron, thank you very much for the $19.99 super chat. You are absolutely amazing and very generous indeed. So Merry Christmas, do you think the next farming simulator will take advantage of next gen hardware and make things like AI and graphics better? Thank you for your entertainment. Yeah, um, as I mentioned in the stream earlier, I really do think that 22 will be the last time Xbox One and PS4 get a version of the game. I do think that Giants will only go next gen consoles and PC for the next version. Maybe they may release the, like, the mobile version on the older consoles, but yeah, I do think they will go just for the next gen and PC, we'll say. I'll, is Series X and PS5 considered current gen now? And uh, PS4 and Xbox One considered old gen? Or are they still current and next? shouldn't have gone down this row as we nearly fall. Never mind. Um, Sim Farm Boss 2, which currency do you prefer? Um, I always switch it depending on the map. So if I'm doing a European map I'll put it in Euros. If it's an American map I'll put Dollars or Australian. Although I've never done an Australian map. Something I may need to do for 22 if one comes out. Um, yeah, I always try and change it for the map to suit the region and the map. So British map I'll put pounds. Um, as it doesn't change the actual values or anything, it, to me that doesn't make a blind bit of difference what it's set to. If it actually converted um, currency wise, the value of vehicles changed so that was all in line with the actual exchange rate kind of thing then I think it might get a bit confusing. <laughs> Cameron, I'm speaking of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Yeah, I think for those consoles, I think if they don't do ones for the older consoles, they will be able to improve it quite a lot more. John, your is that Jan Cruz? Sure, that is it. I met that one got deleted. Um, yeah, <laughs> not sure what that was. Okay, uh, Derek saying aren't the graphics good enough? I think the 22 has been a huge improvement. Zero the Liga, welcome to farm manager level membership. I really appreciate that. Fire stopper, is there a point to buying FS22? If you enjoy farming simulators, then yeah. It's got a hell of a lot of potential. Um, it's one of those... You could possibly wait until the new year and pick it up cheaper. Um, but if you're really into farms and you know you're going to get a lot of hours out of it, then it's worth it. Farmer Liam saying hi, hello to you. Um, Zoe Baldwin is just spamming, so I'm going to get rid of that. Right. Let me just stop that. I need to just do this because I'm not sure what the hell that is. I'm going to remove it. Um, Stevie, um, <laughs> could I kindly ask if you would like to be a channel moderator for the chat, just to help keep an eye on things, if you don't mind? Um, although I would say the uh, chat has been fairly uh, well behaved. <laughs> well, there are those odd time where I may miss something, so if you don't mind... 
and let me know. So I've got night bot set up, but I need to play around with the settings of that because I've, I literally just enabled it. Farmer Liam, is this PC? Yeah, I'm playing on PC. Uh, multiplayer, no, unfortunately I couldn't get multiplayer to work. Like Steve is saying, no problem. Right, I have to go into the menu, otherwise it minimizes the game, sorry. Um, right. Do, do, do. How do I do it? That is my word. Cheers, Stevie, I appreciate that. Um, Sam does stuff. Is there any brand you would like as DLC? Because I want Kubota. Um, I don't know. I don't know too many brands that aren't in the game. Because like, I'm not a. don't have a great knowledge of agriculture equipment um, so I, I know there's a lot of brands that aren't in the game but I don't know of their stuff and what they do to say um, if there's any particular one I'd like to see in the game Dalmason saying the brand is only as good as your local dealer yeah Steve is saying glad you can help nice one cheers um, Derek Smith saying, I haven't been playing FS19 for very long, so I'm perfectly happy to wait six months. Yeah, I'll say if you're still enjoying 19, then there's no rush because it's. You're pretty much doing the same thing. There just might be a few mods and vehicles that are released for 22 that you can't get in 19 for a bit. Eric's asking if there are any South Africans. There was one in earlier. I can't remember the name though. Canadian Gamer, 10 Canadian dollars, super chat, thank you very much. Love your content, happy to see you live streaming, hope you continue with them, cheers. Yeah, I plan, now I've started, I, I plan to try and keep them up uh, at least once a week. Uh, but say, as long as there's a uh, people are enjoying it uh, so I, I'm enjoying doing them uh, really enjoying being able to interact with the uh, the chat as well <laughs> so Hannah's saying uh, beware of Steve from now on yeah I'm, I'm sure you cheer the chats pretty much well behaved so I'm sure you'll all uh, have no problems So we've got 180, oh, 198 viewers watching now. It's just jumped up quite a bit. So if you've just joined, uh, thank you for stopping by. Say hello in the chat. Stevie H, is there a way to spray a second layer of fertilizer with outcrop growth on field? I struggle to see where I have been. Um, There isn't an easy way as such. You could use the minimap and the coordinates to work out. Um, I'll just stop this for a minute. Um, if you can see my minimap at the bottom, it's got the, the coordinates where you are. If you've got a square field that's like 90 degrees, you can work out roughly how far to move between each row by just watching because they're in coordinates are in meters so if you've got a 20 meter sprayer um, let's jump out to do this so if you're going at 270 degrees which is straight across so we're currently 943 so if you've got a 20 meter sprayer you've if you've done a row at 943 you could then go to 923 so centre your tractor at 923 obviously you'd be going that way so up the field at zero degrees 
So now you are exactly 20 meters from your previous one, which should be 10 meters from the center. So you should know if you stick to zero degrees going up the field, then you should know that you're perfectly in line with um, your previous run. That's the only way you can kind of do it. It's like kind of manual GPS. Um, so then you just try and stick to zero degrees or 360 degrees all the way up the field at 923. And then obviously at the other end when you turn around, then you go across to 903 and then come back down at 180 degrees, is it? Yeah. So stick to a head in at 180 degrees, come back down. Um, it's not perfect and you may drift off, so you may need to like slightly overlap it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know any other good way other than keep checking the mini-map, um, the, the map on the menu. Lee, Farmer Liam got big jobs on. I don't know if I've missed a previous comment there, Liam. Um, 5.9 patches, hey boss, really enjoy watching your time lapses. My favourite were Man No Man's Land, Crater Lake, Wilhelmina Forest. Really cool to see what you do for nothing. Thank you for that, appreciate that. And yeah, I'm hoping to get back to those types of uh, series very soon. Gary's saying Kubota would be nice to see a very nice tractor in real life. Yeah, I think quite a few people would like to see Kubota in the game. I think they do quite a lot of smaller tractors as well, don't they? Um, so I'm not 100% familiar with their stuff. Let's get this put back on the header trailer. Which means, oh. Uh, we haven't finished unloading yet. I didn't spot the trailer wasn't full. <laughs> I thought it'd stop because the combine was empty. Um, yeah, GPS mod is out now. If you're on PC, yeah, you can use the GPS mod from Wopster. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, if you're on console, you, that's not available. But we need to take this to the train. Derek Smith, GPS, there are a couple of mods out. Yeah, I think there's um there's another GPS type mod out on one of the third party sites. And then uh, Wopster's GPS is on the mod hub. Wasn't Kubota announced for FS22 at one point? I'd not sure. A lot of people thought, I think for FS19 at one of the, um, is this, this the railroad, railroad, railroad silo? Yeah. Just double check before I tip it in. Um, yeah, for 19 when they did the, um, pre, pre-launch thing, I think they put a Kubota tractor on display at the, I think it was the Polish game show and that confused quite a lot of people because they thought that had been announced as a branding game but I'm not sure about whether it was said for 22 um, Kubota is the Japanese company, yeah I think so is it me or is the music a bit too loud? Is the music too loud? I think I did turn it up actually. Let me know if anybody else thinks the music's too loud and I will turn it down. I think I was playing around with the settings and I think I may have increased the music a little bit. I just need to turn on interactive markers because I don't know where the rent a train thing is. Be 
You don't have to answer, but are you from the black country? I am originally from Walsall, but I spent 24 years living in Walsall. Um, about 10 years or so working in West Bromwich, but I now live in Worcestershire. Rented train is going to arrive soon. Nice one. Um, I have no idea how much we need to deliver and it doesn't pay you for any excess crop, which is rather annoying on these contracts. Um, right. Um, probably going to break something here, but I'm just going to... As long as that doesn't show up on the screen, we're all good. Um, where am I looking, where am I looking, where am I looking? Oh, if this breaks my game, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm just going into the missions XML, see how much I need to deliver for this contract. I'm not sure if accessing it while I'm playing the game will cause any issues. Harvest contract. Sunflowers, potatoes, sunflowers, soybean. Soybeans. Right, harvesting. We need to deliver 24,319 litres. Oops. Let's get in this. So, zero, zero the league. Let me look into Stevie Curious now. Um, Air Fonta, 20 euro super chat, coffee on the house. Thank you very much for that. That is amazing. Uh, you are very generous, sir. I really appreciate that. Right. Stop. Let's open that up. Um, so, Sam does stuff saying the music is fine, music is fine, okay. Right, I'll leave it as it is then because I don't want this around. How much did I say it was? They say we needed 24,000 litres. Don't know if we're going to have enough soybeans to complete the contract. Ooh, I didn't see that gap in the fence there. Can we put that gap there. Um, Tyrone saying hi, hello to you. Welcome to the stream. So apologies if I've missed any of your uh, comments. Ivan, VCA is easier to use but not realistic. Is that the other GPS, the VCA? Vehicle control add-on, is it? I think you mean. Um, MV Farmer want the Guy's Aldeberg map for FS22. Yeah, I love that map. That was my favourite map in the mod contest. Um, kind of held off starting a series on it and then eventually when it was released um, officially on the mod hub um, I decided to jump on it as I really like that map it was a really really nice looking map and had a really nice feel to it as well but it's one of those I'm not sure if I'd go back to it um, if it was released on 22 I kind of like to try out new stuff. Sim, did you not want to part the XML before you started to play? No, no I didn't. Um, I meant to do it. Um, I didn't think soybeans were affected, so I didn't think I needed to uh, adjust it for the soybean contract. Air Funter, if you can't read all comments you know your stream is running good popular yeah 
Yeah, not quite as bad as the first stream. Those like over 300 people. That was a. It's a little bit more of a uh, slower pace, which is easier to keep up with. So that's one of the reasons why I put off live streaming, as the channel kept getting more and more subscribers. It kind of became more and more da daunting to uh, start live streaming because I was like kind of anxious about streaming and I end up with a stupid amount of viewers and the chat's crazy and I just get all flustered and can't keep up and it just goes to pot so in a way I'm kind of pleased that I didn't get a crazy amount of viewers <laughs> and it's a lot more manageable so CHXWC as a new file manager not sure if that's shortened for anything. <laughs> appreciate you becoming a farm manager. Right. So we have got exactly 24,377. I think that is literally, how much did I say? 24,319? Well, I'm going to send it off at that. If we don't get any extra, we don't get any extra. possible to fix the problem with the delivery problem on harvest contract if you're on PC yes you can adjust the XML file to reduce the amount required for the contracts because it seems like the contracts that leave straw so oat wheat and barley there the amount required is like way off what it should be Good, good thing you're streaming now. I need all the sim content I can get. <laughs> oh, we completed the contract, so those are just enough on there. I was hoping we'd be able to keep a little bit for ourselves. Right, let's actually complete it and get paid. Which is a little bit disappointing because we're not going to get as much as I was hoping because it was only worth four. I was hoping we'd get a few thousand litres of soybeans or cookie. But never mind. Well, I'll crack on with these bailing contracts. So this has a two in pitch. Can I hook the baler up to the back of this? I'm guessing no. no. That's worth a try. To save me a trip. Field 15 and 24. Do 15 first as it's the closest. Yeah, if you go into, if you open up your save game MV um, and then go to the mission, I think it's missions XML file, open that up in Notepad and then you can find the contract and then it says required amount and then just delete one of the digits it's, it seems like there's um, one digit too many in the required amount so for 20,000 litres it comes up as 200,000 litres mini um, evening all evening to you I still need to make this chat a little bit bigger because it's difficult to uh, read at times. Steve H, I just want to say I too have social anxiety when I hate, which I heard you mentioned before, you stream spot on and I just want to keep it up, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I've struggled with that for pretty much as long as I can remember. delay in dropping the rear section. I thought it was broke. <laughs> I 
Wouldn't you need a PTO? I wasn't trying to run the baler, I just wanted to see if I could transport it over here. Uh, at the same time, it saves me uh, at one trip back to the store. I was kind of ho hope, hope, hopeful thinking it would just at least hook up so I could transport it. Zero, the Liga. Do the sheep in farm seem dream of electric tractors? Hmm. <laughs> okay, thanks, MV. No, no problem. Septopus. Have you tried logging yet? No, I haven't. I've removed a couple of trees and I am really grateful that the Lumberjack mod was released the other day. Because that thing is uh, for getting rid of trees that you don't want to spend time cutting up. Being able to just delete it with a chainsaw is like a huge massive bonus. Derek came himself lucky to have mates. I love playing FS but I get a bit sick of playing solo all the time. Um, I'd love to do more multiplayer and I'm hoping to in the future if I can get it working. The main reason why I've not really done much in the past is just because my internet was never good enough and being on a limited data connection as well meant I just couldn't afford to use any data to play multiplayer games. So. Hopefully I can get the multiplayer server all set up and get it all working. It would, would be nice to have a few people on help out. Kind of get a bit more progress done. Uh, give, give some of you guys a chance to come on as well and uh, help out. If you want to make a big amount of money, go for chickens. Yeah, chickens seem to be the uh, the go-to animal at the moment. I would, to be honest, if if I hadn't have put all the wheat into the uh, the grain silo, I probably would have bought a chicken pen and uh, kept some of the wheat for that. But because of the time of the year we're in, there's no fields available to get any anything harvested for feed, and I don't really want to pay. For chicken feed. So maybe a job for next year. So where are we? So we've got 181 viewers and Aaron 25 minutes in. So we've got another couple of hours left. So thanks to everyone who's still here. Earth Hunter said he's down for some multiplayer fun. Yeah, over, I think in between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to try and get, well, the week before Christmas, I'm going to try and get as many videos recorded as I can so I can have some time off over Christmas and hopefully have that week off between Christmas and New Year. And then what I plan to do is probably for a few hours each day in between New Year and Christmas, as um, jump on the multiplayer if I can get it up and working. Um, zero the Liga, is there not better internet? I'm currently on the best internet package I can get at the moment. Because of where I live, I'm in a ru rural area, we don't have fibre optic broadband that's any good. So I'm currently on 4G, which 4G signal is pretty good but the maximum speed I can get is about 65 meg and then an 11 meg upload which is is great um, but previously I was on a limited data plan so it's only recently I've changed that to un unlimited I should have not done third first person I just missed loads I missed way more than I thought. Back all the way up the field. Oh, if I'd have realised I'd have missed that much, I wouldn't have uh, bothered reversing back. 
I think if you join the Discord, you can find someone to partner up with. Yeah, I think there's um, a lot of Discord servers have their own multiplayer server set up. Well, Discord is not something I'm over, overly familiar with. Farming player, will you do a dedicated server? I will do. I will say I should hopefully have it set up within the next week or so. And there'll probably be um, a couple of multiplayer servers. One that I can use for the live streams for channel members. And then a separate one for open to everybody. <coughs> it's the ping on mobile data that ruins it. Um, possibly. What I'm thinking... Uh, trying is to set up the have the stream running off my mobile data and um, have the multiplayer game running off a different internet connection so I'm not streaming and going on multiplayer at this, off the same internet which will hopefully help a little bit um, Earth Hunter, thank you again for the uh, 20 euro super chat. Here's some money for the multiplayer server or more coffee. <laughs> I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah, so what I'm thinking for next time is get my stream running off my other PC, off a different internet connection, and then I can have hopefully the game running on the multiplayer off a more stable connection. So hopefully that will help. see how it goes anyway is it hard changing the gears of the tractors I don't know because I haven't tried all, uh, manual gear switching yet I've only used automatic um, Steve is saying discord is a tri tricky place to navigate <laughs> it is if you've never used it which I'm, I barely used it at all I think I signed up for it, uh, joined up to a, the farming simulator server, um, but ba barely have been on it. Aaron, is it? Oh, I've read that one, apologies. Derek saying he's always played solo, been playing since FS19, since July. Yeah, I, I did a uh, multiplayer. I think it was for 70, 70,000 subscriber special for that weekend I did multiplayer. I did keep that server running for a while but nobody ever went on it. <laughs> In the end I had to stop paying for it because I was like paying, I can't remember how much it was each month and there was nobody ever was on the server. How much GB is FS22? Um, depends where you get it from. I think it's a little bit more expensive on console, but if you're on PC, I think it's around £35 just for the base game. Now we've got a hey from Ukraine, hey to you. Steve is saying he's got a Discord set up by a friend, but no idea how to run it. <laughs> yeah, it's just having the time to sit down and work out how it all works. And then having the time to keep an eye on it and keep up with what's going on on there. And it's also that thing as well, is finding people who are willing to help out and be moderators that you can trust. Derek Smith says, Assume it's marvellous what you achieve with just a 4G connection. Yeah, I'm really hoping that in the near future we get 5G in my area. Currently no plans at the moment to bring it, but if I go a few miles up the road into Birmingham, I can get 5G. I'm a little bit too far out from the city 
centre to be able to get it here. Herr Fontana, I would love to help you set up Discord server, but I don't want to be involved in the Discord moderators, moderations. Yeah, I can understand people not wanting to help out, and that's the thing. It's it's finding people that are willing to dedicate time to help you out doing it. Um, and you know, it's, it's a lot to ask for people to do that. Um, I <laughs> It's one of those things as well, I don't feel comfortable asking people to like, spend their time, I wouldn't, wouldn't like them to do it so much, but... MV Farmer, welcome to Farm Manager. Have you just rejoined, as it's showing up as you're a, a new Farm Manager? Hopefully we can get that transferred over so you can get your um, your uh, full membership um, transferred over so you're not back to green level. What mods do I use? Currently I have very few mods enabled. Um, Anthony Cummins, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> MV saying he's back. Um, NS saying, how are you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Um, I think you did say hello earlier and then I, I forgot to uh, acknowledge it. So apologies for that. Hi to you. Um, I got the GPS mod installed. Um, Lumberjack mod. Actually, I think... I think it only shows vehicles, doesn't it? If we go here. Uh, so, yeah, those are the current vehicles and equipment mods I've got. It doesn't show the script mods. Um, not that I'm using any of those at the moment. <laughs> that's all that's enabled. Then I've got Lumberjack mod, GPS. I've got the the new shed mod that was released the other day. A little o o open shelter. Um, is that I'm trying to think script mods um, uh, I can't think what the other one was yeah there's a couple of us everything I'm using is off the mod hub so it's all available in game I don't have any mods from third party sites MV saying so I have to start from green yeah I'll, I'll, I'll have a look into it um, I'll see if, if there's any way on YouTube I can transfer the memberships, but I don't know if I have any control over the actual membership accounts myself. Uh, but I will, I will have a look for you. Steve H is replying to Thingy. Zero of the league saying he could help as an admin on Discord. Not like I have much to do lately except playing Sims. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I may may look into the um, Discord server. I say I may. I've, my original plan was to just open it up to channel members first, so I could limit how many people would be on there until I got used to it. Before like open it up to other people. Um, I've Right, our work has almost finished plowing. There's a little bit left. But we'll leave that. We'll go and grab the Ted out. I'm just going to leave my trailer there for now. I'm going to end up with equipment dumped all over the map. This is where I need my free labour. Yeah, I'll, it's something I'll have a think about over Christmas or over the next few weeks and um, have another look into seeing about setting it up and that. So we need the tether.
Yeah, so when I was on multiplayer earlier, when I was connecting to equipment, it was leaving the equipment where it was, and then I was driving off. The equipment would stay where it was on the floor, but the PTO would still be connected to the tractor, and it was like stretching. Um, and <laughs> it was just glitching out really bad. I don't know if it was doing the same for you, Stevie, or whether it was the multiplayer was okay for you. I did uh, disable the traffic because that. I, at one point I drove over the top of, the, of a, an invisible car. So, saying zero, saying it is good just for having a community center, even if you're not using it much other than that, I will say. Okay, so I will have another look into it. Stevie 4K Gaming get some minions to run discord for you and just pop on from now and then I wouldn't feel comfortable if there's loads of people doing a lot of work on my behalf for uh, no real benefit to them I've been there I've, I've been a moderator on like Facebook groups before and I don't know what it's like to have to dedicate your time to try and help out and so yeah I couldn't appreciate that anybody that was uh, willing to help out uh, lol Stevie's got the idea and then just hide in your private voice chat <laughs> Steve H I may have missed your answer deer or krona forage hog style your opinion um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the benefits are over each one. Um, as I'm from Europe, I'd probably say more Krona because I don't know how much John Deere forage harvesters are used in, in the UK. Um, I think most of the forage harvesters I see around by me are the class Jaguars. I don't think I ever remember seeing another one. So I'll probably go Krona. <laughs> also the fact that if I was in game using it, it's something different. Because there's a lot of John Deere tractors to use. Uh, fun to say, and I will help you Discord. I decided that it's worth it to help out. <laughs> Well, say so nothing, nothing concrete yet. But I'll, uh, I'll definitely have a look into it. Michelle Beard saying hi, hello to you. Zero saying, to be honest, it's, it is easier to run a Discord, and if it's mostly catered to a specific group like long time viewers and subs it ends up running itself yeah I, I can imagine it will because you're less likely to get channel members and long time subscribers cause any issues Steve H I worked for all this forager so thanks for the opinion folks <laughs> Tincho, hi men, regards from Argentina. Hi to you. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, Michelle Beard, I love watching your videos every day. Thank you for that. Emily saying hi, hello. Right, so what I'm going to do is. We'll finish off this pass around the headland. I'll set the worker off on this. I uh, will take the the Krona Big M over to the next field. We've got the hay contract on. Uh, I'll get the worker set up on that. I know it's going to kill my uh, kill my money using workers, but I'll try and get this uh, sped up a little bit. So what I might do is pick up those uh, cheese wedges I know of, just to uh, offset the wages a little bit. Yeah, Facebook is just like open to the wide world, and yeah. 
Yeah. I see. I mean, Discord, you have to have the uh, an invite or the invite link to join, don't you? So it's kind of limits people a little bit. Oh, set the worker off on that. We'll go speed over to field 24. Wrong way around the island. Or did I go the right way around the island? Oh, in the UK. And Renan saying hi, hello. SA Farmer, how long are you still going to stream? I will be streaming for another hour and 40 minutes approximately. Although I am going to have to nip off for a little break for two minutes <laughs> so I can uh, go and grab a drink as I'm all out. So yeah, about another hour and 40 minutes. Sam, nice to see you streaming, Sim. Thanks for your time and content you provide us. No worries, I appreciate you stopping by. Oops, knocked out another sign. Derek Smith saying, I was a member of Discord but left because I couldn't work out how to turn all the notifications that off that popped up on my phone every five minutes. Yeah, I kept, on my old phone, I kept getting um, notifications when somebody was posting a thing saying they was going live on YouTube and um, the only way I got rid of it is when I switched to my new phone, I didn't download the Discord app. player saying bye bye thank you for stopping by Emily saying love your videos thank you and Cillian playing saying hi hello to you zero the leaders question for you when you're doing a lot of your logging your login runs in time lapse. Are you using the Xbox controller? Um, I'm using the Xbox controller. Pretty much for everything I do in the time lapse, I use the controller. Yeah, I'm so used to using the Xbox controller, it's um, easier to just keep using that for the time lapses. I also find that the camera control on the controller is a lot better than using the side panel and a steering wheel or anything else. Right, so I'll just set off at work of doing this. Gabrielle Rigo, thank you for the subscription. And Morten saying hello from Norway, hello. Can you turn your mic up a small bit, please? I can't actually adjust my mic anymore. It's on the highest setting. It's probably just me needing a drink, which is what I'm gonna do now. So I'll leave you watching this work for a second and I will be right back.
Right, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, ooh. Right. Actually, I'm going to leave that work going for a bit. I'm going to go and grab some cheese. I'll leave that work going for a minute. I'm going to go and grab me a couple of cheese, cheese wedges that I don't know of. Uh, right, just try and catch up with where I've missed on the chat. Um, zero saying, oh, so you don't use the equipment panel much then? No. Um, I like I like to use the steering wheel and the side panel when I'm doing a lot of first person. I find the steering wheel's a lot better. Um, with the time lapses, I don't do much first person so I don't tend to use my steering wheel very much I just predominantly use my controller um, and so I've never really got used to using the side panel that much and I think the Xbox controller you pretty much do everything from it that you need to so yeah I don't tend to use it all that often but I may when I can get it all working I may start to use it for um, the live streams have my wheel set up and side panel and start using that more. Right, there was a cheese, I'm sure, around here. Oh, have I already collected it? Oh, there it is. Cheese! If I can get it. There we go. Oh, apologies if anybody was uh, not wanting to know the location of the cheese. <laughs> Look away now. Um, right. See what else I've missed. Uh, free labour would be handy now. Yeah, definitely would be handy now. <laughs> I say I've kind of like my whole plan for this kind of episode I thought earlier was just completely went to shot. <laughs> so yeah. Come on, help! You can do it. Yeah, the help can do it. There's the fortune. I'll have a look how much we've paid in helper fees so far. Uh, wages. Wage payment. So far, 3,212 for today, October. I don't know if they've increased the price because they've uh because they're doing the monthly the month thing now it's like a simulated for a month's wages. <laughs> Love the mow and roll video. <laughs> Thank you Cameron. Now the next one I know to, and this is the last one I know to, is right up by the hotel. I don't know it to anymore. Not that I've found anyway. These are the, I haven't actually gone around looking, these are the ones I just spotted when I was uh, having a look around. When I came up to do this screenshot for the episode, um, the thumbnail for the screenshot I was flying around I spotted the one up here right um Lucas saying hi hi how are you um Gulkan I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce your name you are loved I appreciate that thank you also makes you run a bit faster. I did not realise that. Is it meant to do that? Or is it now? Seems like after you've disabled flight mode you can run a little bit faster. Strange. I do miss the cheat mode off um, FS19 though, so you could run super fast. Right. 
Yeah, they're the only ones I know too, so can't pick up any more. Right, let's stop this worker and then we'll finish off the Ted in. Um, I say apologies if I've missed anything in the chat on SA Farmer. Ted graphics are amazing. Yeah, the um, the animation and the effects on that are really, really nice. Huge improvement over the previous games. Derek's infos are I just crash whatever I use. Strange because I can drive an M2240 I perfectly well. Yeah, I, cr I crash a lot in Forza as well. How many game time lapse video is in real time? How many hours? Um, around about two and a half to three hours for a, a time lapse video. I think one I did the other day was around about four hours. Um, but they had a, uh, a lot more sections that were sped up a little bit more. Uh, Mini saying LS, FS wheel and side panel easy to use. Yeah, they're fairly easy to use, but when you're not used to using them, I keep getting confused. <laughs> And reversing with it was oh, struggling so much reversing, but I prefer to use the wheel in first person. And GPS, oh, I forgot, I've just noticed this tractor's got GPS on it. How have I only just noticed that? Ah, oh, right. Why have I only just noticed this tractor's got GPS? I bet the crow and a big M had GPS as well. Ooh. Well, if you didn't know, you can get GPS enabled on contract equipment. Uh, all I've got to do now is remember how to bring up the menu. Does it tell you on here? Anybody know what the uh, keyboard command is to bring up the GPS menu? I forgot what it is. I've got I've got it set up to my uh, my stream deck, but I don't think the auto width is set up correctly. Oh, it doesn't seem too bad. Um, Sim, the FS wheel is just like a controller. Yeah, in a way. But I think if I got it set up right, it wouldn't be so bad. SA Farmer, how ex expensive are the side panels and steam wheels? Um, I wouldn't recommend getting the steering wheel and side panel bundle because I think the heavy equipment pack, the steering wheel isn't that good in it. Um, so I think you're better off getting the side panel separate and then getting a, a different steering wheel. But how much it depends on where you live um, and what sort of steering wheel you'd want to get. I think UK price, the side panels are around about £120. Um, I got the Logitech, Logitech G920 simply because I've got the Xbox as well, so I can use it on the PC and Xbox. Um, but obviously, if you've got PlayStation, you can patch it. I think the stream just rebooted itself. Not sure why. 
Um, hope everyone's can still see everything okay. Uh, it looks like the stream just restarted for some reason. Uh, uh, Alt plus C and then Control plus S, I think. Thank you, Thomas. Um, Alt, what does he say? Alt C and then Control S. Control S. I'm trying Control S, but it's not working. we go. Ah, thank you. Yeah, it is control less. I was not pressing it properly. <laughs> right. Let me see if... i change this. I want to see if my stream deck's working with the auto whip. No. I probably won't work now because it's folded up. I will try it on the next field. Get this over to the next field. Yeah, stream restarted. You've never been streamed for two minutes long, yeah. Um, as long as there wasn't, um, like it hasn't messed up for a lot of people. And you just like sort of seamlessly uh, continued streaming. Zero, I thought the G29 could work on Xbox. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the G29 is only PlayStation and PC. The G920 is Xbox and PC. I'm going to go around the island the correct way this time. Oops. So CH saying, oh, I've used the Logitech G9. G29 for the past two years, it's so smooth and works great. I map a few controls like dump etc to some of the gears on the shifter. Nice. Venom killer. I hear GPS is that out or is it been testing? No, it's out on the official mod hub. I think it was released yesterday and there was an update for it today, I think. Or it was it released Thursday, and then there was an update yesterday. Uh, one of one way or the other. Yeah, the I think the the Logitech G9 and um, say G9 G29 has a better button layout than the 920 does. But yeah, they're pretty much the same same thing. I think they've just got a slightly different configuration with the button layout. Um, one's designed to work with Xbox and the other one's not. Steve H bought the LD9000. It's beautiful. Nice. Yeah, I think the, the G29's got um, a better button layout than the 920 has. I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't do the same button layouts for both. But who knows? But let's just jump into this and get those little bits on the headlands that have been missed. 188 viewers. Thank you to everyone who's still sticking around. I will 
I'll get this cut. SA Farmer, what do you think of Daggerin? Um, I don't know Daggerin personally, I know of his channel. Um, I used to watch his videos before I started um, doing my own videos. I haven't really watched any of his stuff for a while. Um, I watched a bit of his stuff at the start of FS19. Um, kind of wasn't keen on how he was going around things. Uh, a lot of his earlier videos just felt like mod, mod, mod demonstrations. It was like every video had to have a new mod featured in it. And I wasn't enjoying it so much, so I uh, didn't really watch much after that. And then I don't tend to watch much FS content anymore. Um, partly because I'm playing the game so much. <laughs> kind of sick of it. But yeah, obviously he's a extremely popular FS YouTuber. And he's done very well for himself. So, and I know he um, did the survival, survival role play series, which uh, seems very popular for him. Um, not my kind of thing. It's not something I'm into. Uh, but yeah, I think it is. Uh, puts a lot of time and effort into those. Right. Well, that's Tedding. We'll go and. Grab our little massive that we haven't used yet today. Although I don't think this is powerful enough to run the baler. We've got a square baler for this contract. Oh no, we, we need to windrow first. So we can do the windrow and the massive. Give this a little run out. Daguin is a guy you either love or hate him. I like his FS15 stuff, but nothing since. I've never, I say, I only came across his channel midway through FS17 and I, I liked his stuff he did on the West Coast and Oakfield. Um, but there's yeah, towards the end of FS17, like Lone Oak series and Shamrock Valley, I kind of started losing interest in these videos and then completely kind of lost interest for um, the 19 stuff but I'm sure he's, he's, like, he's still a very popular YouTuber so can't uh, say that he's doing anything wrong but so I don't know any I don't know any YouTubers personally I just know of their channels Jacob saying should I take out a loan for a class Axion TT 100k on sale um, 100k for a terror track Axions uh, sounds like a reasonable price I'd love some more powerful tractors because the uh, especially for the seed drills that kind of horsepower requirement for six meter ones is a killer for the starting tractors Drop that off there. And get, oh, we've got the Merge Max. I haven't used this yet in 19. So I'll give this a whirl. Stevie H, I like him, but he's talking to school children. Yeah, that's the one thing I wasn't keen on with the survival roleplay. It did seem to come across that it was aimed for kids quite a lot. And I'm not really into the survival the role play FS kind of stuff. I'd rather watch a real life farmer uh, do like vlog videos than watch uh, someone do role play on FS. I'd find that far more interesting. Uh, Derek saying there seems to be a lot more YouTubers uploading FS content since 22 came out. Everyone has their favourites to watch. Yeah, like I said in past streams, there's a there's a YouTuber for everybody. Um, in some YouTubers are a little bit too full on um, for some people, but then there's other YouTubers that are a lot less full on and uh, 
a little bit more chilled out and relaxed that other people will enjoy. For say, for every every one person, there's a, a YouTuber you'll find that'll suit your kind of style and how you like it. And then the same for a, for a, if for those that create YouTube content. If you like what you, you're doing, there's a viewer for you. For every v one viewer for you, there's a million viewers for you. You've just got to find them. So Mini saying, I watch a lot of Tom Pem Pemberton and Funky Farmer. Yeah, I watch Tom Pemberton, although I haven't watched um, any of his recent stuff. Just haven't had the time to watch it. So I watch. Um, Tom Pemberton. There's another one in the UK called Harry's Farm. Um, he does some interesting stuff as well. Uh, Welker Farms I watch occasionally and then Millennial Farmer and how farms work as well. Just to kind of get the uh, insight on the American style of farming. But yeah, I do find it interesting to watch some of the real life farmers and seeing how they do stuff. Tom's shed is finished. Yeah, I saw the um, the uh, thing on my subscription feed earlier saying it was uh, complete. I need to go back and watch. I've got a bit of catching up to do on his uh, series, um, on his videos for the uh, changes to the farm, um, the new cow shed. Steve is saying, I will keep searching for my million viewers. Yeah, they are there, it's just finding them. And sometimes YouTube is difficult to get it to get get it to show your videos to the, the right people. Derek's saying if we're naming names, I like Scroft. I'm not familiar with that channel. Thomas, so you should check out Larson's Farms. Yeah, I'll have a look. So I know over the last few years, real life farming channels seem to have um, become very popular on YouTube. <laughs> There's so many now that get recommended when you watch them. And seeing channels like Millennial Farm and uh, Welker Farms grow, like how many subscribers they've picked up, obviously you can see how popular it is. SA Farmer, what feature do you want in the next FS? Um, I'd love GPS to be in the base game. Uh, and follow me. I think more implementation on workers, like more automation on workers that can, like the AI vehicle extension, that workers can work around headlands first, like you can set it to do headlands first for harvesting. Um, so a little bit more control over workers would be nice. Big Rich, good stuff here. I got a few people with me and they're all enjoying this. I appreciate that, thank you. I say as long as people are enjoying it, I'm happy to continue uh, streaming. I would say it, it, it makes me uh, Makes me happy to hear that people are enjoying it. Scrofted is a very helpful channel full of great tutorials. I say I'm not not one of them um, heard of. Right, let's spin this round and yeah, swap that over. seems the hang up is getting the bail on the belt for a lot of teams is that for the SS the SF league or whatever it's called why oh God, I'm doing a very good job of break why is planning on starting farm from zero series and yes um, hopefully no man's land will be released before Christmas and I'll be starting on a 
complete start from scratch on there when it is. So fingers crossed for that soon. Um, Dalmason, I started watching Daguin and thought he was a bit meh and he talked about time lapses and search for farm simulators and time lapse found you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, he's, um, I would say, like a Marmite YouTuber. As you see, a lot of people that love him, and I, I, I do know a lot of people that aren't keen on his stuff. Um, or I've seen on Facebook and stuff, but yeah. I say it's probably the same with everyone. There's a lot of people that love certain YouTubers and then a lot of people won't like them for different reasons. So there's somebody out there for everyone. SA Farmer, do you like logging in FS? I haven't tried it in 19. Um, 19, 22. 19, I enjoyed the logging, but it did get a bit tiresome after, after a while. Uh, but I do enjoy it. Especially when you've got some decent equipment to use to do it. Mini, my first time joining and I'm joining it. How often do you live stream? Um, well, this is my third stream and I'm planning on streaming at least once a week from now on. Um, so it'll be next Saturday, I think I'll be streaming and then. I'm going to stream the day before, so the 23rd of December. So, because obviously Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is the Friday and Saturday. So, I'll be doing the Thursday that week. So, I think it's the 23rd. And then I may try and fit a stream in in between New Year, uh, Christmas and New Year. So, possibly on the 27th. So the day after Boxing Day or the day after that. And then going into the new year, we'll see. I don't know if I'll be doing, keep it as Saturday evenings. Or whether I'll change to a day in the week or not. So for now, it's just every Saturday. But I may, I may do, in, in between Christmas and New Year, I may do a stream earlier in the day and see how that goes just to give those people that can't watch at this time a chance to uh, watch. Uh, apologies for that subscription that just popped up, I've missed it. So whoever it was, thank you for the subscription. It didn't stay up long enough for me to read it. DTKK, I think, is Wilhelmina Forest now YouTube algorithm. Um, I started watching his channel from that series. Yeah, the first episode on Wilhelmina was very popular. Uh, but my most popular video was the first episode on No Man's Land, which got just over 800,000 um, views. That's by far my most popular uh, video. And for gaining subscribers, that has been my best video for uh, getting new subscribers from. Uh, but Wilhelmina, Wilhelmina Forest is one of my top uh, videos as well the first episode Derek I knew he didn't have many subscribers I had noticed his subscribers had jumped um, uh, missed that one no, I'm not sure who you're talking about that I think I missed a comment Sim, oh yeah, I can see it now. Sim, you have a lot of subscribers. Was there a defining moment that rocked your channel? Yes. The defining moment for my channel was the very first farm build video I did on Felsbrunn using the landscaping tools. Um, that video, I think I published on a Saturday afternoon, uh, mid-December. And a week after publishing that video, I had over 10,000 subscribers. Um, no, by the end of that month, I think it was by the end of that week I had over a thousand subs and then by the end of December I had over 10,000 subs in, I think it was about two and a half weeks. So that video was 
the kind of defining moment for my channel. Uh, it just went crazy. I think I had 1,200 subscribers in one day, which is like the most I've ever had in a 24-hour period. Even right now, I've never had that many in one one day. Marcin saying hi Sim, hope you're well and you too, hope you're doing well, thanks for stopping by. SA Farmer, is there a tr trick to being a good builder in FS? Um, I don't know, I just seem to have, seem to talk naturally to it. <laughs> it's, again, it's one of those things, um, how I build my farms, a lot of people probably won't like it or would do it different. Um, I try to lay them out that's kind of functional and kind of fit in with him with the equipment used like oh, the building style of buildings used so the ones I've done for FS22 apart from the small farm which was a bit like some areas were a little bit overgrown with grass and stuff I tried to make that one kind of a, a compact small farm that looked a little bit older the only downside was the modern sheds um, I would really like some older style sheds to use uh, the dairy farm I built and the the arable farmyard I made those kind of like very neat tidy yards because they was all very modern so it's like a very modern new build um, if we'd have had a lot of older style sheds and buildings I would have probably made them look like a slightly older farm um, but yeah I don't I just kind of start placing things down but try and think about when I'm placing things about how we would use those so leaving enough access to doors on sheds rather than just plonking a shed down and then worrying about how to get in and out of it later I have watched a few farm builds where they just seem to be random placement of buildings and then colouring the terrain around it with the painting tool uh, and some of them just leave me a bit baffled with the logic as to why they've put things in certain areas so I was trying to do it logically um, as best as you can sometimes you're a bit restricted on space that you can't always put things where you'd like to but yeah just try and think about how you would use the farm when you're playing it when you're laying the buildings out is always a good starting point so MVs I am wait for FS22 version for the expansion with more flat land like where I live I ask that because I like your farm builds I am not yeah just keep practicing just just get a, get yourself a save game with a lot of money on and just keep trying things out and say just practice at things try different layouts and you'll get used to it big rich I build the smallest mega farm I can get away with <laughs> Marius, thanks for that uh, replying to Stevie. He's trying to find the most interesting way to expand, let's say, currently running chickens with the oil mill, which is decent. Forage might be the next to go. Uh, Marcin, oh, where in UK you live? I'm from Worcestershire. Well, I live in Worcestershire. I'm not from Worcestershire, I should say. Dalmason, I think I subscribed to you when you were around 10, 15k subs. You were still doing the Felder and Raven port series. I think it was February 2019 after your snowmobile accident. Yeah, I remember you commenting on, um, on some of the early videos <laughs> after you had had your accident saying you'd uh, recovering. Uh, back on Felsburn. Yeah, my first ever series, I think, was. 
the Baltic Sea on FS17, which I think I got about 50 views. Yeah, I started my channel in September the the year 2018. So it was the year of FS19 was due to release, so only a few months before that. So I pretty much started FS17 videos knowing I wasn't going to get much interest because a lot of people were losing interest in the game. So I kind of used my FS17 videos as a, a way to just get used to recording videos and editing videos and stuff like that. So there was all kind of test videos for me, trying different things out, different rendering settings. Um, I wasn't too fussed about subscribers and stuff like that. Um, zero, thanks for the five dollars. Alert. I appreciate that. Um, Big Rich saying he does really, el really well with eggs. Yeah, eggs seem the way to go for an early farm. Even if you get like two or three of the small chicken pens you can get a decent amount of um, eggs. It's a Forza joke, I had to. <laughs> I appreciate that, thanks. Yeah, build multiple pens. Uh, how late is it where you are? Yeah, it's just just gone 10 p.m. where I am, as Steve says. So I've got an hour left on the stream. I need to speed this up a little bit so I can get this finished. <laughs> At least try and get this contract finished. I was hoping to try and start building the farmyard, but I say not, not having Stevie on to help me out has uh, kind of thrown a spanner in the works. But maybe for next time. Zero. We were getting spammed by the alert messages popping up all the time in Forza. <laughs> Steve H, my farm is currently eggs, bread and canola oil. What about to branch out to cows and silage? Years bread got me 660k, wow, <laughs> that's a, a lot. Yeah, I've just started to get some, uh, a decent amount of bread to sell on uh, Elm Creek. So I think I sold my first 6,000 litres on there. I don't know if that video has been published yet. I can't remember where I'm up to with what videos have been published or whether that's the next one. Steve saying, Sim, where is the time lapse when you need it, Lord? Well, yeah. <laughs> Put this on time lapse and then uh, carry on chatting away. Jacob, I think Giants should make a British fictional map the first large I don't think Giants will ever make a British map I'll be perfectly honest with you I don't think they will ever do a British map because of how they do their maps um, they try and make the maps accessible to everybody if Giants tried to do a British map they would get absolutely slated for how unrealistic it would be <laughs> and I think it would just get panned and I I personally don't think British maps are as popular as many people think they are within the whole FS community. They're extremely popular within the British community of farm sim players, but I think in across the Europe, the rest of the world, America and stuff, I don't think British maps are as popular as a lot of people think they are. Um, compared to some of the American maps and European maps, so I, I don't think we'll ever see Giants do a, uh, a British map. Um, maybe in the future somebody could come back and uh, <laughs> quote me on that, say, you were wrong. But yeah, I'd be very, very surprised if they ever did a British map as a base game map. It would, would be nice to see their attempt to do one, but yeah, I don't think that would. Um, on my on my channel, British maps don't seem very popular. Uh, they always seem to be my lowest viewed videos for 
I don't know it's because ma large majority of my scri subscribers just aren't into British maps um, or whether it's just the way I play British maps or what but I've just never found I've done very well compared to other stuff MV is the slow mode is this the slow mode of sim yet yeah. Yeah, somebody complained on my stream last week, left a comment saying, why is it so slow? I like it's a live stream, it's not a time lapse. Jacob, don't worry if they ever do, I'll remember that sentence. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> remember that. Yeah, I, I can't see them doing a, uh, a British map. I think they'll always probably stick to a a US and a European map. Zero, maybe they, maybe I should start a time-lapse series of Euro Truck Simulator. Easiest game to do, pick up low drive this section. <laughs> oh, why did I come this way? Um, yeah, I've, I've thought about doing Euro Truck as a time-lapse in the past, but I just, yeah, I don't know. For me, I think Euro Truck would make a better game for live streaming because you can just chat chat with the stream that while you're driving along. I, so I don't know how popular it would be as a time lapse, but and I've never tried, I've never looked to see if there are any ch channels that do time lapse videos on. Oh, I nearly took me out. Yeah, I'm not sure how, if there are any channels that do Euro Truck time lapse videos or how popular they, they are, would be. Might be something I'd do in a live stream one day, just something a bit different. Steve's saying no square fields in Britain, so giants will never do a British map. Yeah, that. They have done some fields with curved edges on there in 22. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Three point turn. You know what? There's no collision on these fences. No, nobody saw that. <laughs> Big Rich Giants is working on the case DLC, DLC pack. Um, just don't tell anybody else. <laughs> I can't. I. I. I honestly can't see any of the DLC packs being a brand that's already in game um, I think it will be a, a new brand unless I do a DLC pack of equipment from that brand that's never been in game before I don't know um, I've seen a lot of comments on Facebook people uh, thinking that the the Borgo um, equipment pack would be part of the season pass. Um, I still think that'll be released on Mod Hub as a mod. All the stuff from that, like we've started to get some of the Vicon and Caverland equipment last week. I can't see them doing a DLC, paid DLC with equipment that's been in the game before. I would be very surprised if they did. Stevie says he's tried Euro Truck as a time lapse and normal play, and they were not great hit reviews. Yeah, it's one of the the things with YouTube when starting out is the one piece of advice I can give people if you're thinking of starting YouTube is don't try and do too many different things. You are far better to concentrate on one game to start with than doing lots of different stuff. Um, oh no, wrong way. If you concentrate your niche on one particular type of content or one game, um, you are far better off because you'll get people subscribed for that game than if you start uploading other games they won't like, they'll stop watching 
and it's difficult to start building up a a good subscriber base because you're doing different things um, and not every subscriber is going to like every type of game you play and so it's far easier to concentrate on one game to start off with and then you know you could always branch out in the future um, but a lot of the big channels you'll notice they always tend to do one one game uh, mainly focus on that so I don't think I'd play too many different games on this channel um, I definitely wouldn't do multiple videos on multiple games in one day Derek I played ETS 2 gave up when I drove from Germany to Corsica only to have the game crash. <laughs> Elite farming, saying hi to Stevie. Uh, I missed you saying the evening. Evening to you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, zero saying Euro Truck is one dimensional really to do a time lapse to be honest. Yeah I could understand if you was maybe doing talking like commentary on it but then doing time lapse sections just to speed up some of the long journeys would probably work a bit better Jacob now 183 people no no that's possible brand DLC <laughs> Zero saying obviously these things to do to build a view base is time lapse Fortnite videos for a year straight. <laughs> yeah, you've got to think as well what's popular. Popular games. Um, but then there's a lot of channels doing it so it's it's trying to get your videos noticed. Trying to get your videos in the recommended section of other videos is one of the biggest things um, to do. Um, making sure your video is optimized for search so making sure you've got relevant tag words in there relevant to your video that pick up in search on Google um, so if you search on Google like FS22 time-lapse you need to make sure if you're doing time-lapse videos that your video search is optimized for those tag words to get them to show up on Google as well as in YouTube and other places so there's a lot to it than just recording uploading a video um, there's certain ways you can help yourself with certain tag words and things like that but obviously you need to need to make sure they are relevant to your actual video so you're not breaking YouTube community guidelines by uh, adding misleading tags to your videos But yeah, there are a lot of things you can do to help yourself get started and there's some very good YouTube channels as well that do videos on that sort of stuff uh, well worth watching if you're uh, thinking about doing YouTube um, Derek saying, Sim, you're, you're right. One YouTuber, one game at a time. If you jump around, you won't become popular. Yeah, it's it's that kind of thing. It's a, subscribers subscribe for a reason. So for me, I know that most of my subscribers have subscribed because of the time-lapse videos. Um, and I know then if I started doing videos on a different game, a lot of those subscribers wouldn't watch that video because it's not what they're into it's not why they sub subscribe to my channel um, they may not unsubscribe some of them may unsubscribe because they've got no interest in those videos some may just stop watching my time-lapse videos and then over time YouTube stop notifying them and when I do release those videos because they've not been showing interest in my channel so then that would be basically basically become a dead subscriber so they're still subscribed to your channel but they don't actually 
watch your content anymore. Um, and then again, you get new subscribers that subscribe for the new game, but then when you they start seeing a lot of videos pop up in their subs subscription feed for a game they're not interested in, they lose interest. And so yeah, I definitely think one game is a uh, the best way to go. Steve is saying he's tried multiple games um, over the last couple of years and lost viewers from it. I did it on my uh, my old channel. Um, I used to have a scale modeling channel and I could upload content on there for um, on certain like type of models. So I used to build a lot of armor models like World War II tanks and things. Um, and then I, I did a uh, some video series on the Millennium Falcon model kit and that became really popular. I gained a lot of subscribers on it. But then every time I uploaded a video that wasn't anything to do with Star Wars or the Millennium Falcon, I'd lose a lot of subscribers and uh, people would lose interest. And I, even just doing the modeling channel, even though it's all scale modeling related, that difference between sci-fi and World War II stuff uh, really killed, killed things for me. And it, again, it was that if I'd have stuck to one type of models, I'd have probably done a lot better. So MV gaining views on the beginning it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's, YouTube can be a real grind when you first start out. Um, well, I think when you, when you start YouTube, you've got to ask yourself why you want to do it. And then you've got to be realistic with your expectations and be prepared for a, a possible long, hard grind to get any traction. Um, a lot of YouTubers, I think, quit within the first month because they they think it's um, a lot easier than it actually is. I think there is a lot of false um, yeah. <laughs> so my word finding skills has just completely lost me. Yeah, a lot of people go into use YouTube with a false perception of how well they're going to do. They expect it to be easy because they see successful YouTubers and they think, oh, I can do that. And then they try it out for a week or two and then they don't get any subscribers and then they give up, basically. <laughs> Simon's saying, when will the next Elm Creek come out? Uh, tomorrow should be Elm Creek. Um, it alternates between the two current maps each day. So earlier today was the European map, so tomorrow will be Elm Creek. And then Monday, back to the European map. So Elm Creek should be tomorrow, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday next week. Yeah, Steve's saying a lot of YouTubers want instant fame. Yeah, that's true. I don't want fame. I just want to enjoy it and uh can earn a little bit of money to help pay the bills then all's good. Uh, big rich and expect it. A Walker Elite Gaming sounds from sounds brummy. I'm not a brummy. I'm from the Midlands but not a brummy. Yeah, Elite Farming, are you in the UK? Yes, I am in the UK. I am from the West Midlands, but not from Birmingham. Uh, Derek Saini, like modeling channels, tend to watch World War II model making. 
never saw it for it, so each to their own. Yeah, there is so much content there. Have you watched, Derek, have you watched Night Shift? Or um, Plasmo? Um, have you watched either of those? MV Farmer, I do this because I like it and I've tried many times to do something, but now I have a better, little better equipment that help me do this in a better way. Yeah, so you, you need to enjoy it. Um, if you're not enjoying it, then I don't see the point in doing it, to be honest. Why force yourself to do something you're not enjoying? Uh, well, I know that's a little bit easier said than done sometimes, especially with with jobs. Um, if you're relying on it for an income, you kind of have to force yourself to do it. Um, but yeah, it's if it's not your main source of income to start with, then just try and enjoy it and see how it goes and see where it leads. Um, hopefully things work out for you and potentially one day it could become your your job full time. Hannah's saying when no land when no man's land drops, which series is most likely to be stopped? Um, I don't plan on stopping any of the current series. Um, I want to try and see those through to the end, so I'll probably will start No Man's Land as an additional series. Um, but what I will probably try and do is um, yeah, I'll, whichever is the most popular series, which will probably be No Man's, do three episodes on that a week and then two on the other two. Um, so there'll be seven time-lapse episodes a week, as there is now, but then there'll be probably three on No Man's Land and then two on the other two. So I don't want to finish them. So I don't want to drop a current series for, uh, for a new map. It does probably mean that I may delay starting a Let's Play series, but until one of those is finished, but we'll see how things go. So where are we? So 20 past 10, so another 40 minutes. And then I'll need to go and walk the dogs. If there's still a lot of people watching, I may extend the stream a little bit, but I may have to go for a little break just to let the dogs out. Because <laughs> I want to try and get these contracts finished. So we'll see where we are in uh, 40 minutes time. So I may possibly go a little bit longer than 11 tonight, but we'll see. Um, a Walker, how do you decide when to finish a series? Um, mainly based on how popular the series um, appears. So if I'm not getting many views on a series, then I'll look at finishing it. Um, sometimes as well, I lose interest in the map a little bit and then I have a break from it. And then that little break from that map ends up becoming quite a big break and then I kind of don't get back to a map. So there's a few series that finished early that didn't intend to be finished early. Uh, but mainly it's just the the interest from subscribers and viewers. If I'm getting really low views on a series I, I just can't justify spending the time to continue it when other series are getting like three, four times the amount of views. Elite farming, do you try and farm UK style? Um, to a degree on a UK map, I like to try and use equipment I see around me and try and kind of do things in a way that are a little bit more realistic to how I see them do, but I know how difficult that is because every farm is pretty much does things a different way from what I've gathered so I can do something I've seen on a, a YouTube video one way and then I'll, I'll get told by somebody in the comments that I'm doing it wrong so yeah I've come to the conclusion there's no right or wrong way to do a lot of things you'll always be wrong help us is blocked by the dog poo <laughs> yeah oh, if as it gets closer to 11, the dogs start getting a bit restless because they know it's time to go out. <laughs> oh, 
And I've got my little cocker spaniels lying in a dog bed next to me. I'm doing two downstairs with my wife. She's fast asleep at the moment, but she'll be up. She'll be up jumping up me at come 11 o'clock. Just hire the AO outfit to walk your dogs. I would, but they'd probably probably lose them. I know what the AI help is like in this game. What is your favourite type of tractor? My one of my favourite tractors is the Fent 1050. I really do like that tractor. Um, Ulrika had to leave the stream for a doggy walk. <laughs> yeah. I have to get a, a screen overlay saying BRB just walking the dogs. jump into this finish the plowing off next time I'll make I'll make sure the plowing's finished for next time Derek Shane the helpers don't have names the letter is too impersonal yeah the what I think there was a mod where you could name workers you could have a set a list of names that your workers would be called I think that was in 17 though I don't think it ever came out for 19, that I'm aware of anyway. Yeah, you could like set a list of, um, you could change the names of the workers. A dog reveal. <laughs> Maybe when I've got the webcam set up, you'll, you might see the one dog jumping, jumping up me every now and then. I only keep the one dog in my room. Um, the other two stay downstairs. Gamgenic Gaming, hello, hello to you. Long way. Brian, Merry Christmas to him, Merry Christmas to you. Oops, oh, crash, I nearly crashed into that lamppost. I should stop looking at the chat when I drive around these islands. Contractor mod you could name them, I think. Was that what it was? I'm Hannah's saying there were some maps that had custom names for workers in FS19. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna get free free labour on the uh, on the multiplayer, and everyone can have their own name. <laughs> Oops! Oh, forget that button again. Oh. saying I've put out a modern I did in 19 the Claydon drill in 22 it's on the internet more of a UK drill where's that um, is that on a third party site elite Sam does stuff are you going to do a Christmas stream I'll we'll be streaming the day before Christmas Eve so the 23rd, yeah, 23rd, <laughs> forgot what the date of Christmas evening. Yeah, the 23rd I'll be streaming. Um, so I won't be streaming on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Uh, but I may do a stream on the 27th as well. So Elite Farming, I'm working on a big pack from the UK at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, I always try to use equipment that suits the map where, where I possibly can. So if it's a UK map, try and use equipment that's used more in the UK. Oops. I just heard a weird beep. Oh, no wage payment. wonder what that was. That scared me. <laughs> hey, Walker, did they change... Erlen Gracht from 19. Um, I don't think they've changed a huge amount on it. They've added in a few play, uh, production buildings to the, like the production lines to some of the buildings already on the map. And they've added the new like seasons. 
um, like the winter cycle, so snow on the rooftops and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, I don't think much has changed. Not that I'm aware of in a way, but I didn't really play this map that much on 19. Brian saying he loves my videos, thank you. Appreciate that. So let's get this unfolded. Um, Zero saying, in my opinion, FS22 has a, junk, a chunk of the modding content from 19. And once course play and follow me, where the mod, that's pretty much game. All right, we're gonna do the largest bale size. So. 240. Less bales to pick up. Yeah, I like the fact they added the um, the production lines, but I think they are a little bit limited still. Um, so they'll get improved with mods. But one thing I would like to see is the option to upgrade your production building. So you could pay to upgrade the amount of production it can do. So I think the spinnery and the bakery seem a little bit slow on how much they can produce in one day. So it would be nice if you had the option to upgrade it, like pay a bit extra to maybe increase the production by 50%. But I'm sure we'll get some probably larger modded um, bakeries and spinneries and stuff that have probably insane production amounts per day so if you have got a large farm uh, you can get through a lot more stuff in a short space of time elite if you google fs22 cloud and drill it come up okay i'll have a look at that elite thanks for uh, letting me know manta saying hello hello to you sam does stuff in 19 i miss the old massive pack yeah, the old, uh, was it Black Sheep Modding did it for 17 originally, didn't they? The, the, um, the old Massive Ferguson pack. Did it ever get released for, like, fully for 19? I remember somebody was working on it, but I can't remember if it ever fully got released. Morton saying, nice stream, Sim Farmer, relaxing, time to go to bed, good night all. Good night, thanks for stopping by. Um... Hi Sim Farmer, I am Japanese but your video is really fun and will be helpful to me. Thank you very much for that. Canadian Gamer, I'm running two spinneries to keep up with one tailor shop right now. Yeah, I, I, um, I got the spinnery, it's only got like a 45,000 litre capacity hasn't it for cotton and wool, like each. And I think I've got like just as much waiting to go into it <laughs> and I was looking at thinking is it worth building a, a second spinnery just to uh, keep up with uh, the amount of cotton I've got otherwise it's going to take I think I worked out it would take 16 games just to get through the 45,000 litres Big Rich a lot of modding promised long before FS22 came out Still hasn't showed up in the game, just saying. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff for 19 that never actually came out. Um, so hopefully they can, if still working on those, they can get them into 22. All of Aviation saying hey, hey, hey to you. Jonathan saying the farmer in the dale, farmer in the dale, hi ho, merry ho, farmer in the dale. <laughs> Steve saying he don't think the four massive pack was released in 19. Yeah, I can't remember it. I remember Black Sheep Modding gave someone permission to uh, convert it to 19. But I can't remember if it was ever fully released. 
So 499 saying, hey Sinfarma, do you do modding or just playing? Or just playing. I would love to have a go doing some modding. I have tried in the past, but it's just finding the time to learn all the ins and outs of modding. Uh, to get get used to it. Derek Modder's maps make the game. Yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd honestly admit that if it wasn't for mods and mod maps, I wouldn't play the game anywhere near as much. I'd have never started this channel. I don't think you could keep up a channel going for two years with just the base game stuff. I mean, you'd probably lose interest after a couple of months. Brian, what other games do you play? I don't play any on my channel. I only do farm sim content. Uh, but in my spare time, I do like to play a variety of other games. So I, I enjoy playing simulators. Um, I like City Skylines, uh, Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, stuff like that. Um, also enjoy first-person shooters, you know, like Grand Theft Auto. I enjoy that. Uh, occasionally Call of Duty and Battlefield, but I haven't played those much for a while. Uh, Forza Horizon 5, uh, Forza in general, so I like the motorsport as well as Forza Horizon. So yeah, I like to play a lot of different games, probably too many. I always like to uh, try out different stuff. Uh, Derek saying the Giants have got their business model spot on, yeah. They've um, definitely going the right way about making the franchise a, uh, a big thing and I know it's not to everyone's cup of tea and that it will never be the full on simulation that it'll, they want it to be um, but the Giants have kind of got that make the game as accessible to as many people as possible uh, make it accessible to modders uh, to create mods To, uh, keep the game going and it seems like the with the year one season pass it does look like possibly we get a year two season pass um, so it'll be interesting to see whether they're going to go back to a two year cycle for the game or whether it's going to be every three years and they'll just do more DLC content uh, that'll be interesting to see Brian likes GTA too. Yeah, I really love GTA. It's just a shame it's been so long since the last one. I mean, I, rem I remember playing and completing Grand Theft Auto 5 on my Xbox 360. <laughs> and I think a lot of people probably don't even remember it was even out on the Xbox 360. It's It's been that long. Uh, Elder Scrolls is another game I really like and yeah, really anticipating that um, Elder Scrolls 6, but that looks like it's going to be another few years away. Well, I think we're pretty much done in this field. Oh, come on, bale. Why does that last bale never drop off? There we go. Get that folded up. And we'll get over to the next field. So, 20 minutes. I don't think I'm going to get these contracts done for 11. Big Rich, I know the modders and they haven't delivered nothing but talk. <laughs> yeah, there are a few modders I used to follow on Facebook and they keep posting all these things about these mods but they never get released. And it just seems like they, um, they only want people to join their patron uh, for the hope of 
gain access to these mods that never actually appear. There's been a few Facebook channels I've followed, um, Facebook pages of modders I've followed like that in the past. Jonathan, they should release a new spin-off game where you could drive a lawnmower garden simulator. There's that lawnmower simulator, isn't there? That came out recently, but that's not by Giants, it's uh, a different company. Didn't Giants used to do a construction simulator in the past, I think? Not that I ever played it, but I think they did a construction type simulator in the past. That was Giants. Um, Presuming it didn't do very well, that's and they've never did, did another one. Yeah, I think you can pretty much find a simulator for everything these days. I remember years ago there was a forklift truck simulator. I don't know if who'd want to play a forklift truck simulator. Maybe they'll just keep updating FS22 like Euro Truck. Uh, now I don't, I don't know how they go about doing that other than just keep adding DLC um, for equipment. Then, but because you've got so many modders doing stuff, it's you're kind of going to get to the point with um, who's going to pay for the DLC when it's available in a mod for free so it's I think Euro Truck's a little bit different although you've got pro pro mods where they've added a lot of regions that aren't in the base game they just keep extending the map maybe if F FS had a, a large open world map and they just kept extending it <laughs> like farming USA with uh, each expansion they added a new state as part of the map that you could farm. <laughs> I think that would be a a crazy game to try and run, <laughs> even on a top end PC. But would be quite cool to see. Maybe like a Euro European farmer where you start off with uh, like a German German map with farming on, then they add France on, so you can just drive across from Germany to France. Set up, set up your farm there. Start farming in France. The next DLC they add on like Spain or somewhere. <laughs> That'd be a pretty epic farming game, especially in multiplayer. Combining then Euro Truck with delivering your crops from uh, your farm in Germany to Italy. A Walkers Rockstar made 900 million in revenue last year from GTA. Eight years into the release. Yeah, just imagine how much that could make though from a new release GTA. It's not as if the the cost of the G, a new GTA they wouldn't make back. I'm sure they've got the reasons why it's taken so long. But as a fan of the uh, series, it's it is a bit disappointing that it has been so long. So Hannes said, "So, what is your take on mining and other stuff in FS?" Um, I've never tried any of the mining maps. Um, so I've done a lot of forestry, but. Not any of the mining or construction maps. I've never tried any of those. Um, obviously, it add, adds a lot more to do in the game, but uh, for me, it's a farming game. <laughs> if I wanted to do mining, mining and construction, I'd look for a mining construction simulator. But 
Yeah, so I've never played any, so I don't know how well they work. I mean, they may be really fun to to play, but maybe if one, a decent map comes out with mining construction on 22, I'll give it a give it a go and see what it's like. Big rich likes production. So we got clones and free stooges modding now. Great. <laughs> Zero saying I don't know how difficult it is to do a lot of expansive content for FS. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I've, from Giant's point of view, they'll get to a point where they need to release a new game. I don't think that could continue. Just keep bringing out DLC for a game. I don't think it's that type of game in the current model that it would work that way. But you never know. 499 Sim Farmer, have you upgraded your setup since your last setup tour? Yes, there will be a new setup tour video. Hopefully, sometime over Christmas, I'll be getting that done. It has changed quite a bit, and I'm still in the process of making a few, few more adjustments to it before I get that video done. But yeah, there will be a, a new setup tour video coming. Zero saying there's a lot that you'd like to see for production mines. Yeah, one of the things that gets me, I'm not kind of um, surprised that Johns did add, an, add soy milk or maybe oat milk to a production line. As there are two crops in the game, it would have two further uses for them to sell on as oat milk or soy milk um, at the dairy. That would have been nice to see and possibly will be added to a mod. Um, but surely that would have been a simple thing for them to have add, added in. And there's possibly like chocolate cake. Why did they not add chocolate cake? We've got the ability to produce chocolate. So why did they not add a, um, a cake that doesn't use strawberries but uses chocolate instead? So you could make chocolate cake as an alternative. So there's, even with what they've put in the game, there's lots of options that could have added easily to to what's in the game. So yeah, definitely uh, a lot we could possibly see from modders over the coming months. Cooper, I'd love an open world farming game. I think I think you'd be more likely to have a um, Cooper Watland has become a member. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Um, I think it'd be more like Snowrunner, where you have areas of the map where you can travel to a different map. I think that would be more feasible than having a large open world. So having tunnels or a bridge on a map and then you can cross to a different map to like deliver your crops. I think that would be something that would be able to do because then you're just loading in a completely different map and you're not having such a big large world rendered in at one time. So like on this one where you get on the train, you could have the train go to Felsbrunn but rather than it disappear it would take a loading screen, but then it loads in Felsburn and then you're on the Felsburn map where you actually drive the train to the cell point to deliver the crop yourself. Um, I think that is po possibly the easiest and most likely way we'd ever see an expansion on worlds. So they could easily do it with this map where you have the tunnel takes you to Felsburn via road. I think that would be pretty cool, but I'm really hoping for the next game, Giants, just in increase the uh, size of the base game up slightly. Maybe push it to three kilometers by three kilometers.
I don't understand the chocolate production. Like, what are we making? American chocolate? There's no coke. Yeah, I dig. I also don't understand why the dairy makes chocolate. I'm presuming the cocoa powder's imported um, automatically, but I, I don't know. Do dairies make chocolate? Um, I, d I don't know to any dairies personally that make chocolate, so it seems a bit strange. I know on this map they've got the separate chocolate uh, that does the chocolate, not the dairy, but. On the other map, it's the dairy that produces chocolate. Derek Sim, when are you introducing the methane power tractor? Not seen anyone use that. Um, yeah, I think that one's a nice, small, compact tractor. Might be good for when I've got the grapes. Or olive set up for um, using in between those. So I think it does fit in between those, does it? Let's have a look. Oh, um, no, that's wrong menu. That one. Yeah, because I think it's only a narrow thing, isn't it? So it's kind of something that'll be suitable for the uh, grapes and olives. So possibly look at getting that on um, the European map. There's something interesting, quite cool, funky, uh, blue, shiny blue paint scheme. Yeah, I, re I really need to look at um, how much the BGA is to invest in on uh, on the maps to see if it's worth getting that. And then we can produce our own methane. Steve is saying a great mod idea sim, drive all the way to Felsbrunn to deliver grain. Yeah, I think that that would be pretty cool to do. I don't think there's enough for another bale, so we'll skip that. Donna milk chocolate. Yeah, we still need the cocoa powder to make milk chocolate. I'm sure Cadbury's don't just make uh, dairy milk out of milk and sugar. Right, we need to go and get the bale collector. What time is it? 10 minutes. Ooh. I definitely don't think I'm going to get this finished. Either the dogs are going to have to wait a few minutes. Well, I'm going to have to nip off and then come back. Big Rich saying, yes, American dairy farms include chocolate milk and their products they delivered to the house back in the 70s. Don't know if dairy farmers make deli dairy delivery to residents' homes anymore. I That's interesting to know. Sab. I know some farms in the UK pr produce their own cheese and... Um, butter I don't know to any that do their own chocolate so maybe there is also I can't say for definite it's not a thing because um, I don't know zero hasting farmer go try American Hershey milk chocolate bars uh, yeah I've never tried Hershey's I know you can get it in the UK now but it's not one I've ever tried so yeah, I'll have to give those a try. I'm a uh, Galaxy and Cadbury's <laughs> predominantly. Walkers, 1.5 million for the BJ. Yeah, that's if you buy the placeable one. If you, um, you can invest in the pre-placed one on the map. I think it's a lot cheaper. What was that one? Is it? There's the uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So on this map, it's 479,000 to buy the uh, pre placed BGA. I don't think I'll be buying that anytime soon. Yeah, I think the, the largest pre um, placeable one is a million and a half.
Cooper saying there are farms where I live that still do home delivery. Yeah, we have a local farm shop that does delivery. Um, we use quite a bit during lockdown. So we was getting like fresh bread, um, eggs, milk, cheese, uh, bacon and stuff from their farm shop. Don't know how much of it came from their actual farm. <laughs> Sort of, it was all sourced locally. Zero. Oh no, no, I'm joking. Our chocolate to you is going to taste like vomit because they use soured milk. <laughs> it might still be worth trying. You never know. Big Rich loved fresh case of bottled milk, cheese, eggs on the porch every morning as a child. Yeah, we we started using the farm shop during lockdown because it was difficult to get shopping from supermarkets. And then a lot of the online supermarket deliveries we were having, there was half the stuff was missing. So we started using the local farm shop. It was a little bit more expensive, but at least you're supporting them and we're getting fresh stuff delivered to the doorstep. Especially their bacon, the bacon was really nice. <laughs> American Hershey chocolate is very much the case of uh, British chocolate. Yeah, quite taste. Oh, I tried rich chocolate and it's very different. But when when Cadbury Cadbury's got taken over by um, oh, I can't remember this. it was an American company that took over Cadbury's. I can't remember the name of it. Um, they changed the uh, the chocolate in cream eggs, and so many people complained. It was like oh, this just doesn't taste the same. It's horrible. Auto, yeah, the auto stacker only takes 14 bales now um, compared to 16. I don't know if it's a slightly different model or whether it's just because the bales are a little bit bigger or. Oh, we need to take this to the animal dealer, which is the quickest way. Um, right, we are here. We go up there and then. Steve H, do you know if silage bunkers are working correctly? There are a few issues with some of them where you can get a lot of silage stuck that won't come out. I don't know if that's all of them or just certain ones. The small one I used on the European map had a little bit of silage stuck down the sides that I couldn't get out. So I just deleted it with the landscaping tool. Um, but I've heard a few other people say they've had 30, 40,000 litres of silage stuck in there that they can't get out. So, I don't know how many of the bunker silos are affected. Well, I presume that will be something that will get fixed in the update, or hopefully will. Craft bought Cadbury's. Yeah, it was Craft. That was it. Um, and then they transferred it to a company called Mondelay, which I think is a based in. Oh, I can't remember where the base now. I think it's still part of the craft group, but under a different parent company, sort of thing. It's a bit strange how they did it. It's probably a tax, a tax fiddle. Buy the Valtra Velmet. Not on this map. I'm using it on the European one. And I've already got a small tractor and this one. Don't need another tractor just yet. Use your right side mirror to pick up the bales. <laughs> I did this last time, didn't I? I can't remember which trigger. I'm sure it's this trigger.
82% for field 24. I'm hoping there's a few hay bales left over that I can keep. Because I want to try and get a dairy operation set up as soon as possible. Uh, Cooper saying maybe just stick to bales then. Yeah, if you're on PC, you could always just because it tells you how much silage is left, just adding the money. If you've got the power tools mod, you can just add the money in the game. Um, yeah, so if you've got this, the power tools mod that's on the mod hub, you can just go there, you can just type in the amount of money. So you work out how much you owed for any stuck silage, just add in the money and then delete what's in there. Or just stick to bales until it gets fixed. Alexander, what steering wheel you have? I have the Logitech G920, but I'm not currently using it. So at 11 o'clock, I'm, I'm gonna try and get this finished because the dogs haven't uh, started making noise yet. <laughs> Just try and get these two contracts completed and then we'll call it a night. So still 115 viewers, so thank you to everyone that's still here. Uh, thank you to everyone that's uh, interacted with the chat over the night as well. I do really do appreciate it. And I wouldn't be able to sit here streaming for as long without you. So Cooper's got a... Oh, where am I going? Should have gone down that dirt path. Cooper's got a Fanatic set up, but the controller is just so easy. Yeah. I'm so used to using the Xbox controller, it's hard to break away from using it. Sebastian, I had the problem I placed the hay solo close to the bunker solo so when it filled with grass it fermented but half was stuck. Is that what the problem is with the um, having the hay loft too close to it? So I've only tried the one bunker solo so I'm not 100% sure if it affects the others. Oh, I missed that one. Is Power Tools the same as Easy Dev Mod? Not quite the same. It's, it's from a different modder. I think Easy Dev Mod was from GTX. Um, this one is uh, Power Tools. It's a bit limited, so you, you only get this menu. You can add a... Add, um, crops to a trailer using fill vehicle or diesel to your tractor you've got the toggle super strength on or off uh, you can add, enable float mode and toggle the hood and then you can add or remove money that's about all you can do and exit to menu so you can't set fields or change the time of day or weather or anything like that but you could with the uh, easy dev mod so yeah it's a bit limited but until the easy developer controls mod comes out, which I hope it does, um, it's a it's it's a I say a useful thing to have, especially for adding money, in so you don't have to quit the game, go into XML files to add or take away money. But yeah, it's not quite easy developer controls. Steve is saying no problem. Seem glad I could be here to chat. Yeah, I, I've gutted I couldn't get you on. I, have, I hope I can get that sorted for next time. So I'll, I'll try setting up the multiplayer in the, um, using my other internet connection, see if that helps. I'll also try and find out maybe if it's one of one of the mods I've got that was causing all those errors on the uh, the log. So yeah, hopefully I can get that sorted out for next week. 14 bales exactly. That's handy. Don't have to come back for the odd bale. 
hood hider mod instead of power tools mod. Yeah, I'd prefer the um, hood hider. Just so you could press one key on the keyboard rather than have to go into a menu to disable the hood. Super handy for doing screenshots on the fly. DC clan, love your videos. Keep up the good work, thank you. Is the Power Tools con console compatible? No, it's because it uses scripts, it's not on console. Unfortunately, the only way to add money and console is the government subsidy signs. Yeah, the, the Power Tools are useful for content creators. Especially when setting up a map for a new gameplay or if you have a problem during your recording, which I've had a few times where I've had to I've come to edit a video and I've found that like the last 30 minutes of the video has been unusable. It's like become corrupted or something and because I use autosave, I couldn't go back and record it, so I've had to kind of reset up. So reload a backup save game but then to try and quickly do things I've already done, use the easy dev controls to uh, add things in or take things away that I've done a lot easier. How is the government subsidy not a script? I, it possibly is a script, but it uses a script that's in already in the base game. 30, nice to see you live again. Keep up the videos, lad, spot on, thank you. Yeah, certain scripts like the production mods for the factories mod for console uses use the uh, animal animal scripts on 19. So when you was using the factories mod, you was limited to um, the amount of animals you could have. Basically, they use the scripts already in the game. Um, so with productions now being in as a standard base game feature modders can use the scripts for those for console so they're not adding in a third party script they're just using what's already there uh, with the power tools mod I presume that's a uh, using scripts that aren't in the base game so they can't add them to console because I think it's a restriction on Sony because uh, of the way scripts work with the game they don't allow them so it's not actually a giant restriction, that's actually a Sony and Microsoft restriction on mods. And I think it's more Sony that are more restrictive on mods than Microsoft. Next one. So where are we doing? Six minutes past. Well, I've got one field of bales and then we can uh, complete these contracts and then we'll call it a night. Yeah, I think um, yeah, the government subsidy kind of works off the same premise of the greenhouses did on 19. So you place something down and you get an hourly income. So the government subsidy just obviously works off that script that each hour you gives you uh, money. So like kind of like the generators. So I presume that would be pretty easy to mod anything in, to be honest, for a console that kind of gives you money every hour just using the scripting off that why did I go that way? completely lost that I went up, went up the wrong road Sony and Microsoft are very protective. Yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's, they're protecting their own brand and platform. Daniel just subscribed. Thank you very much. Um, so it's kind of like if giants were to release a load of mods that kind of crash people's consoles. One, it wouldn't look very good on giants. 
Um, Sony and Microsoft would probably get a bit pissed that uh, a lot of people would be complaining that they've got these consoles that have been ruined by mods that they've used off like their platform. And it comes down to the same thing with the licensing for consoles. Um, Sony and Microsoft won't allow mo uh, licensed brands unless the the game company holds the license for them. It's a bit similar to what YouTube was doing with the, um, well, no, the government was doing with the Article 13. A Walker has become a farmhand. Thank you very much. Article 13, with which would have meant YouTube would have to own the the license for content to be used on their platform. So for farm sim, to do farm sim content on YouTube, you would have had to YouTube themselves would have had to have had a license with Giants for farm sim content to be shown on YouTube. So it's a similar kind of thing with licensed brands on console. I think that's just to protect themselves as well because branded companies might not like it if their brand is being used on a platform that they don't have a license for. And that's just Sony and Microsoft covering their own backs from their part. So we are 12, two more bales, and then how many we've got left to do? Let's just check. Oops. What happened there? <laughs> 499 has become a member. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Let's just check that again. So field 24 is complete, and we are 59%. Through that one. So possibly these last 14 bales might be enough to complete the final contract and then we'll call it tonight but yeah welcome to the farmhand level channel membership you too i really appreciate your support yeah apologies for night botter <laughs> Yeah, if you if you post too many symbols on your post, um, Nightbot doesn't like it. <laughs> right, race against time. Oh, we've got rain on the forecast. Not in, not in game, rain in real life. According to my uh, my Amazon Echo, we've got rain due. <laughs> Need to get the dogs out before it starts hammering it down. Ooh. There's me, not to see that car. Too busy looking at the chat. Does he not want to stop for my details? No. Okay. My fault, but hey ho. Harry, hello. Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, I'm just about to start wrapping up, but thank you for stopping by. Uh, the stream will be uh, available to watch from the beginning offline for anybody that's late joining and wants to watch it. Need an exception for the farmer man in emoji. Yeah, I, I, need, I need to get some new, new emojis set up for the uh, channel members something I started to look in a while ago I got a few like different different ones for the um, my logo like class uh, John Deere and case I think it's like team green team red and uh, class emojis uh, exclusive to the channel members yeah hit and run by both of us I think I, at least I sort of stopped he just gone. <laughs> go, yeah, go walk the dog. I will as soon as this contract's complete. Harry's saying very good stream. Been watching for a while. Uh, thank you very much for what. Appreciate for your uh, stopping by. Great stream indeed. Full of info. I try my best. 
It's like there's only so much I know myself, so. I'll, I'll always at least say if I'm not 100% sure. I don't try and uh, claim to know everything. <laughs> And I'm sure with the helpful community of people that there's, all, there's someone in the chat that will know more than I do that can uh, contribute. So I appreciate to anybody that has helped out anybody else. Where do you find the emojis to use? Um, I have no idea. Uh, somebody else who's a channel member might be able to tell you because I've seen a few being used. Um, but yeah, I don't know how it works. So I've never been a channel member on another channel myself. I, don't, I, I, I need to get some more set up, but I'm not very good at graphics design, so trying to come up with my own. I might try and find somebody that can create some. Oh, I'll put them in the wrong place. That's not a bad thing, because I can throw them in individually. Yeah, so the Cooper's got the class um, Sim Pharma logo. Right, let's turn on Super Strength. What do you mean Super Strength's not enabled? Oh, it's because I've got Lumberjack mod as well. There we go. Whee! Throw these in one and buy one to fucking keep some. 52%. Uh, Steve has found him now. <laughs> they, look, they look a little bit weird on the small screen. Yeah, if, if anybody knows a decent graphics designer, uh, let me know. I'd rather pay somebody a bit of money to try and get some decent emojis and uh, stuff made. Contract finished. Right, complete, collect, collect. So, tonight didn't go to plan. <laughs> At least we have made a little bit of money, up to 235,000. So, thank you very much for everyone that's stopped by to watch. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone that's become a new channel member. And it's a big, big thank you to those that left a super chat. I really do appreciate it. And your money will go to good use. Uh, it all goes back into the channel. As I mentioned last week, I'm <laughs> saving up for a new gaming chair because this one is starting to kill me. <laughs> so money will go towards that. Um, yeah, so still 143 people watching. So thank you all for sticking around. Hope you all have a very good week next week and say I'll be back next Saturday and then I think the week after that is will be the Thursday evening uh, but yeah we'll confirm before then and hopefully next week I'll have the multiplayer set up Stevie so you can get you on I'll try and sort it out in the week and uh, if you've got time to pop on in the week on the multiplayer server just to see if everything's running okay um, We'll try and get it working in the week so I'm ready for Saturday. But yeah, thank you all again for watching. Um, have a great rest of your weekend for those that have got much of it left. And I'll see you all next week. Thank you again. Goodbye.